your daily dose of Big D Energy. Hey, yo, welcome back, everybody. Big D Energy, Big Woodward D. Sports Network, Neil Rule, Darren McCarty, KG in the house, Spencer Racks on Racks on Racks. Spencer Raxter here in the building as well. All of you jump into that Woodward Sports com chat thread subscribe to the Woodward Sports YouTube channel get in there get your thoughts in there and uh, let it rip everybody that's right uh, got a lot of stuff to get to here today obviously big day for the Lions with DJ Reader coming into town will he will they let him leave that's always my favorite don't let him out of the building d Bring them home. Bring them home. Don't let them out of the building. Uh, CJ Gardner Johnson did a heel turn, wrestling heel turn. I respect it, and I, I I actually like it. I think it's pretty funny. He's already taking shots at Detroit fans. Oh yeah. So uh, gotta love it. I do. It's I, on brand, bro. It's, it's, yeah, he ran it's back to his brand. ex. In, in his defense, Lions fans have done the same. So. He ran back to his ex because his new girl didn't want him. There you go. Yeah. It happens, right? Right? It, right? It, yeah, happens. it happens. It happens yeah. to the best of us. Yeah. It does. No, we'll uh, we'll discuss that. We're doing rest in peace Tuesday on Thursday because I wasn't here on Tuesday, so that's our fallback day. Uh, we we will get into it. Lions also making some moves, obviously at the cornerback spot as well. And uh, yeah, man, some draft stuff. Jackson Job is is spring training porn. That shit was yeah. amazing. He's throwing 119 miles an hour. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But on it's the 102. Corners, though. 102. Yeah. yeah, it's 102. That slider's looking nasty. Wait, is this one of our first round picks that's yeah. coming yeah. through? Yeah. Guys? Kind of forgotten like, about. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he pitched the ninth inning and had like nine strikes out of 13 balls thrown. Two, two strikeouts, went one, two, three in the ninth. Paying corners with 100 mile per hour fastballs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Looked pretty damn good. It's amazing to see. And he's, ni- he's, what, 19 or 20? Oh, yeah, high- he was a high school kid. Yeah. He was a high school kid out of the draft. Lots, oh. lots, of, ba- lots of back injuries, though. Yeah. So that's, that's the rub. But, hey, so far, so good. All we have is today. Who needs tomorrow? That's big facts. That, so we're, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it a little bit. Mm-hmm. I feel like I, the stuff coming out of spring, we'll get there. All right, we'll get there. I, uh, we'll, we'll get our thoughts out there. But uh, there was some breaking news for once. Uh, D Mac, news broke before we go on the air instead of after. Pretty big news too. Pretty big news. No, we we will, we will discuss that coming up in about ten minutes with uh, the Detroit Lions and what they did. But D Mac, um, I showed you something before the show started, and for me, I, and look, we all we all have that thing, right? That we're not good at, mm-hmm. that we wish we were good at. But we're not going to change it. So, like, right. <laughs> you know, we can talk about it, but we're not going to change it. DMAC, I have the worst handwriting <laughs> in the history Chick of the right. world. Wait like, a sec. It's not even writing. It's printing. <laughs> right? Because uh, I, I asked you when you showed me, said, what do you think of this? I said, well, what third grader, you know, filled that out? That was me. I know. I know. But it's did, did well. You... To be fair, it had to be printed because it was paperwork for Learfield for the radio for the NCAA tournament. So, so to your defense, if you would have written it, it would have been worse. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, it uh, best way to describe it. I don't know if you sent Spenny a pic of it or not, but uh, I did not. Is a third, no, I'm too is ashamed. A, is a third grade, <laughs> you know, spelling test. You know how you would expect those letters to be across there. You can make it out. I mean, so it's not that bad. Well, but that's because it was like, uh, oh, that, and that was like an official. It like, was primal. Le- that, it, that was that was a, like a Learfield document. They had to be able to read it. I took time on that one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I took time on it. You need some people. You need to get people. You need some somebody that could you could stand there or whatever to fill that out. Now so. I shouldn't care because we're in the digital space, right? Like who handwrites anything anymore? Nobody. All right. Nobody does. But it bothers me, man, and it shouldn't because this is about – it's about the only time it bothers me is when they're like like an official – like a tax return or something like that where yeah. you have to print stuff out. It's the only time it bothers uh, me. Now, now, did you – Sorry, Spencer. Did you wear Sorry. your glasses when you did this? Because that might have been – maybe. I think, yeah, I think I had them on. You did. Wow. I can't help you then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. I, Spenny, do you have bad penmanship? I have a pretty good penmanship. Yeah. I, I've, I've, I've been complimented on anything in cursive. 
everything. Ledger. Yeah. It's a lost art. I'm not, my I mean, mom's got places, my but. mom's got that combination of printed word in writing. You know, it bubbles over. Yeah, but it's I not, do that You know, that's too, my yeah. mom is. If I'm writing fast, I'll do it like that. Too, it looks it looks like it's printed, but it's all connected. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dante151, can Jackson Joe be the closer instead of Alex Lane? Because that's another person who needs to go away, along with El Mago and Howard from Michigan. Alex Lane's getting hate? I don't know yeah. why. I like Alex, he Alex wasn't Lane. that bad. He, I mean, yeah. He's, he's been solid. He's been what Alex Lang is. But obviously, if Job's doing this and, and injuries and they want to keep him yeah. sort of that, I mean, eighth or ninth inning, whatever it is coming out of that pen. I mean, I think, I'm sure they start him eighth inning guy yeah. and then move him to nine if he's outperforming and he's staying healthy. Yeah, but, I mean, I mean, it's a luxury to have and that Jack, we're talking J about yeah. it. Jackson Job won't be with the big club for another two years. So. Right, right. Maybe, maybe. Well, next year. They, they, they're talking about second half of the year. I doubt it. Keep an eye on it. Maybe. He, I don't even think he's been into double A yet. Now, here's the thing, right? Well, we're, we're seeing him up here pitching small. Like, they want him to be a starter, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so that's the thing is that if, if you would see him probably earlier, if you would help them in the bullpen, but that's not the case. So they're going right. to strike lengthen them out and who knows neil i mean this is this is the best thing about this organization with the scott harris and the young guys whatever go out there and make it make them say no right your performance and and your health and whatever like that who says it can't be earlier um let's go red wing sparty says does danny rex whip out the feather oil pen to write in cursive no he doesn't but <laughs> he did so he was a he was a mailman for like 27 years i believe in mm -hmm. the city of rochester and he used to write replies to kids that would write letters to Santa. Oh, really? And, nice, like, he would nice. print out, so you like, got to have good handwriting yeah, for that. Yeah, he'd print yeah. out, like, letterheads, like, from the desk of Santa Claus, and he'd, like, write them replies. That's dope. Man. That's why that is dope, that's man. That's why he's a man. What yeah. a community servant, yeah. man, for real. For real. I'll tell you this. Mailmen, they get slept on, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They get slept Fisher on. was on his route. The, uh former number one overall pick from yeah. Central Michigan. Okay. He said one day he just, like, changed from, like, a, a long, scrawny, tall kid to just Jack. beefcake filling yeah. up the whole door. And he's, like, after he got drafted, Welcome to the weight room. Uh, he walked in and there was, like, a, a Audi, like, I-8 sitting in the driveway. Nice. And he asked, like, Fisher, he's, like, is that your new toy? He's, like, no, it's, like, my mom's boss got it for me. Because I guess his mom's, like, super high up at GM. And so, because he got drafted, they got him a Man. Yeah, must be nice. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> hey, that's right, sort of man. like Neil Rule. That's connected right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Anthony Patterson, aw ish. Where's your damn glasses, Neil? I'm, I'm, guys, I can see. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I can see. Yeah. Uh, maybe, Pete. hey, you know what? Maybe that's a point. Everybody's been going after the wings about the uh, garbage patch, but maybe it's your glasses. Have they won since you got your glasses? Hell no. Know. That's true. No, because <laughs> I, got them, I got them in March. Have the Pistons won more games than the Red Wings this month? Yes. That's crazy. I think so. The Red Hot? Detroit, yeah. one of the hottest hey, teams the last in the association. Four? Yeah. Three yeah. of the last back four. Back to back. Durham went absolutely nuts 24 last 24 and 23, is that what yeah, I saw? Yeah, 24, 23, and 5. Dude was putting on a show. Pistons are back. You know who's been playing well in sparing minutes? James Wiseman. James Wiseman. You know what? Been yeah. playing pretty like God. Uh, yeah. like, uh, okay, I'm glad you brought that. I talk a we're lot not of gonna, shit about the guy. But we're not going to spend a lot of time yeah. on it. We're going to yeah. get into the line stuff, I promise you, in five minutes. Just give me this, guys, because I've told you guys about my buddy that is a, a records Pistons games if he can't watch them live. Yeah. And we'll go back and start them at the beginning and watch them, like, through. Wait, mm -hmm. wait. So you have a Terminal Pistons fan also, friend? Is he ter he's no, not Terminal he, he's Dennis? No, because he's not under any illusions. You know, but like, but what it, what is that? A, like that's I don't an, know that's how you an describe that. You you have a terminal guy and you have an addicted guy. That is strictly addiction, right he just, there. He loves basketball. So it, loves that, NBA. So basketball. he's got an addiction to to like to, think about this, Neil. See, that's if kind you're of negative. recording the piss, what's that's that? A, that's kind of a negative connotation. He just likes basketball, but he's not he's not aloof to the situation. He no, knows no, but what he's addicted is. to the game. 
He so is. In the same way that you and I would be ad- addicted to golf. We're all... So, well, no, you're addicted to golf. Okay. Yeah, I'm not so, addicted so to it. I'm just somebody who I'm plays ad- it that's good at it. Like, I'm, I'm not I'm addicted ad- to it. All though. right, I'm addicted to golf, and he's addicted to... Ba- like, yeah, if you're telling me... You're not telling me he's taping Boston and Denver and the Clippers and no. all the teams that... No, he's the Pistons. Pistons so are... So he's going to suffer through... Well, horrible basketball. The, are we? Because because you're like you're like I am. You will you will in some form or fashion consume every Tigers game all year long, right? In some it, form it, or, in, the, it, in the radio, yeah, and in, in the, the car, clip, like like last night, right? Like so yesterday, right? See what happens. Check out some highlights and watch. You know, Joe gaslight and then throw as Broder said, a couple eighty six mile an hour change ups to. You know, yeah. see but, it later. But you will watch or listen in some fashion. You'll yes. listen in the car. You'll watch when you're home. As as I've said, I will too. Every single Tigers game, I'm in there in some in some kind of way. Yeah, I said I would never watch the Pistons again, but I still watch them every day. So that's my like. Are, would you say you're addicted? No, it's just. <laughs> no, I can quit anytime I, can quit I want. Anytime. What's, the, what's the positive? What's I don't know. Uh, Pat. Uh, is it his passion enthusiast? then? He's his passion? You're a Pistons enthusiast? Yeah. That's a good way to label it. I do like that one. I do I'm just trying though. to make the point that if he's taping the games this year, going back and watching them, this guy's a uh, sadomasochist. <laughs> right? Like, I'm, I get it. You watch good basketball, but who goes back? Like, I mean, I don't go back and watch bad wrestling. Detroit yeah. Supremacy says... Uh, does he also have a fetish to get kicked in the balls? Because that's what Pistons game. <laughs> well, that's what I'm are. saying. Like other people enjoy. Like, but there's a there's a passion there. I mean, I, props to him because yeah. it's a, like you said, it's a consistency. Yeah. But to the point, right? I think what Spenny said because James Wiseman was the what brought this up is the fact that he's yes, played pretty good the past couple games. So yes. what are you doing then? What are you doing with them? I mean, I. What are you doing with them? Make a decision, Spenny. I don't want to make a decision. Because if you keep him, you're probably getting rid of Beef Stew. I'm cool with that. Like, Beef Stew is eh. What are you doing with them? His contract's up. He's a free free agent. Don't give me league minimum because you know that's not how that works. Yeah. I don't think you can re-sign him. Yeah. He hasn't done enough, man. Unfortunately. He showed flashes, but he's yeah. still... So you're just going to let him walk? Yeah. I'm... Well, there's what is you're not committed to that decision, Spenny, I no. can tell. No, because he's making a case for himself, and it's making a case. So, I mean, yeah. whatever, I don't think, I don't think whatever it is, it. just ask Arn what he wants to do. I would rather, re-sign, I would rather sign Andre Drummond in the offseason than re-sign James Wiseman. He don't want to come back to this. He said he, he said he wanted to come back to Detroit last year. What about this from Real Cream of Wheat? No, nah, Bag sucked at his defensive rotations. Wiseman's actually in the right spot now. That is true. It's yeah. Not going to lie, Taj Gibson has helped. He said that Taj Gibson has helped him a lot since they re-signed it. Or since they and signed and my, buddy, my buddy that's addicted to the, to the Pistons said that that low-key could end up being one of the best signings that Troy Weaver has made because it's a 10-day contract. And he said, and he said the, day, the day he signed it, he goes, I bet Taj Gibson was brought in here specifically just to kick the ish out of Wiseman in practice. Yeah. Because Taj Gibson's seen it all. Yes. And and what's going on? Because what's the one thing that you've seen out of three of the last four? The one thing that I've seen with these moves and Fettuccini and all these guys and whatever, they're playing hard for each other. I mean, there, there's some, there's more of a continuity, and at least it looks like more of the semblance of what we thought it would be out of training camp than it, than it was for the first half, three quarters of the year. Chuck Brewer says depends on the price. Spenny? Yeah, it depends on the price for sure. If Wiseman's your backup center, I'm not mad at it. That 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 reeks. There's a slot for that in the NBA right now. It's two at ten. Yeah, that's the slot. Yeah. The Kendrick Nunn deal. Two at ten. Yeah, that's what it is. So are, are you? So you're down. I just want it on the record. I would do two at ten probably. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't want to. Fl- I don't. I don't want to flip on heavyweights five to seven. Shout out here Shout on Mobile Sports Network. Check it out. I don't want to flip it on, and then when they sign them to that deal, I don't want to see you on there going, "How can they do this?" No, I won't be mad. Okay. I just wanted to know, Spenny. That was it. Uh, Apollo, I'm not keeping Wiseman. Cut him. Well, he's a free agent, so you right. don't. 
you don't have to cut them now. So, all right, we just we got a couple depends on the price. All right, that's it. I want to talk some Lions when we come back. A little bit of breaking Lions news. Nothing that was unexpected or anything like that. Uh, just like when you get a, a haircut. It's not unexpected. You're going to go to Lady Jane's because they're goaded. Absolutely. You can walk into any Lady Jane's for an award-winning haircut experience from one of the most talented stylists around. You can also enter for the chance to win $50,000 in the perfect bracket challenge. So get to Lady Jane's today. Lady Jane's haircuts for men. Open seven days a week. Walk in any time. Lady Jane's, it's wicked awesome. Every year, after a cold and dreary winter, Metro Detroiters come together for two things. Tigers baseball and the best damned party in the world. A new season of Tigers baseball is here. And we're bringing in the new season as only Woodward Sports knows how. Broadcasting live from the biggest party. It's the Grand Slam Festival at the Detroit Opera House. Come party with 4,000 Detroit sports fans. Starting with Wake Up Woodward and rolling into Big D Energy. This is a party you don't want to miss. With Detroit's best DJs, food trucks, and of course, shots. Get your tickets now at GrandSlamFest.com. 21 plus. See you April 5th at the Grand Slam Fest. A ton of fun, a ton of sports, and a ton of man meat. Welcome to the Woodward Heavyweights. Live daily, 5 to 7 p.m. on Woodward Sports. <laughs> Walk into any Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men for an award-winning haircut experience from one of our talented stylists. Enjoy a precision haircut, hot lather neck shave, scalp and neck massage, and a hot towel treatment to top it off. Enter for your chance to win the $50,000 Perfect Bracket Challenge. With more than 25 Metro Detroit locations, there's always a Lady Jane's near you. Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men open seven days a week. Walk in anytime. Lady Jane's, it's wicked awesome. What's better than fresh pizza and crispy chicken? Nothing. Soroki's fresh pizza and crispy chicken. Their food is great, and they're popping up all over Metro Detroit. They have a location in Warren. It's like a mile away from my house. It is some great stuff. If you want to tailgate, if you want to watch a game, all you got to do is hit up Soroki's and order some of your favorite food. You can go to Soroki's.com to find out where the closest location is for you and see their full menu. It contains fresh New York style pizza, crispy fried chicken, fresh salad, sides, and all of that and more at Soroki's.com, S-A-R-O-K-I-S.com, Soroki's and Woodward Sports. Now that's crispy. All right, we're off and running, everybody. Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network on a Thursday. Neil Rule, Darren McCarty, Kenny G in the house, Spencer Raxter in the house. Make sure you check out the heavyweights five to seven while you're at that. Uh, but yeah, so got to get into this. Right before we took to the air, it was announced. Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes got new four-year contracts, so they will be tied to the team through the 2027 season. And uh, DMAC, you know, that pretty much that's the easiest. That was the easiest thing that the Lions were going to do this entire offseason, man. No, I, absolutely. This is important. What do I always talk about? It starts at the top. Um, so this is uh, awareness by Sheila to get it done. And you got the guys that are, you know, putting this thing together out of the way till 2027 behind it. Now let's go side some players and put this team together, go win a Super Bowl. Uh, Steve-O Baby, I just pulled my first 300 game, Neil. What's your, what's your high game? Steve-O uh, Baby, you might want to check in with Maz. You and him can have a bowling talk. I suck at bowling. Yeah. I got a, I, I got a 264. That yeah, was the best, the best I ever got. 278s, man. Yeah. Probably like 220-something is my highest. I don't know. I don't keep count because I suck. <laughs> <laughs> KG, you big bowler? I like to bowl, but I'm not like the greatest. I, yeah. I'm one. I think 190, maybe the closest I've got 180, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's funny because I got like a, about a, I would say about a 140 average, mm. but every now and then I'll pop off and because mm. I throw a big hook ball. So Ooh, like I can't hook the ball, man. I want to be able to do that so bad. So if the lanes are super dry, yeah, I'm pretty bad, and if they're super oily. I'm pretty Goal bad. Time. So, you know, like, <laughs> I, I, need, I need the right oil pattern, I guess you could say. Yeah. But uh, it's like the opposite of my bourbon game. I don't need any, I don't need any kind of conditions for the bourbon game. Damn I just right. need a glass. Yeah. And I don't even really need that. I just need, like, a bottle. <laughs> Take it to the head. Yeah. <laughs> Take it to the head. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no question. Hey, I was kind of confused by this Dan Campbell news because was it, didn't he have a six-year deal? So wouldn't that mean he only got like a one-year extension? <laughs> Technically, he had a six-year deal when he first got signed. 
That's what I thought, too, because I, I was sitting there thinking about it. When did he get signed? What was it 2020? 2021, I thought. Well, no, 2020, I guess. 2020. Yeah. But, but were they not, and I don't know if this is right, but on different timelines as far as contracts, doesn't this just put them on the same path now? Maybe. Like, as far as on the same probably. ticket or probably got... What, what would happen, Neil, if, if that is the case where Kenny's right? It's probably just redone the money, and if he's making, what would he make... 2026 year deal, yeah, that, that million would be, dollars, and now he's making four million. Yeah, the, the bump, okay. yeah. So it gives yeah. you the break. Right, what did we talk about yesterday? The only league where you can go like this, like right now, go, oh, your contract here, let's rip yeah. it up and do another one, Makes or sense. let's rip it up and see you later, right, Neil? Like, right. I mean, it's just. So, to me, it's like that appreciation for the cost. So, yeah, Holmes had two years left on his deal, and Campbell had three years left on his deal. So, it's deal. to get okay. him on the same yeah, yeah. on the same track length and probably Makes sense. spiced up some money and, you know, gave him some incentives and maybe a new vehicle. Who, who knows right. what it is? But what I like, Neil, what do great and, – and usually great run businesses, and I know that bad run businesses m- might use the same motto as paying the top and not paying the bottom, but you took care of what you need to take care of and put it away. Now let's go concentrate on the DJ readers and you know making the, making the deals for the Carlton Davis, and I don't think anybody here – I mean, if you put a poll up, is this a 100% poll? Yeah. yeah. Who's I mean, gonna, I, like, yeah. I mean, I I'm always – Well, I'm I don't all, know. All, he hasn't signed he, – he's not good at free agency. That's what I was told. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, D man. No, no, I, mean, I didn't mean I, to do that no, to you. No, that wasn't you. It just <laughs> it's 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 when you do that, I know you do it as it's coming out of different people's voices. And, <laughs> because no, but that's that's the thing. So this is what good business does is is they keep the things in place from the top down. Mm-hmm. Real cream of wheat brings up a good question: Is this the first time a Lions coach ever got extended? I think Wayne Fonts did. Oh well, yeah, that makes sense. But I could be wrong. As far as my memory, no. Because Wayne Wayne was the interim, and then they made him the the head coach. Right, but if you go extension and ripped apart three years on a deal and redid a deal, absolutely not. Right? Like, restructured your deal or or revamped your deal halfway through it? No. No. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, again, just going back to it, this was, like, the biggest no-brainer. And I'm sure it's it's a money thing. It probably juiced up. And they earned that. Like, there's – again – Maybe I overvalue this. I don't know. Um, judging to some of your guys' reactions, especially when you talk free agency and stuff like that, maybe, maybe, I do, maybe I do overvalue it. But I'll go so far as to say this, that Brad Campbell right now has already done enough to be in the Lions' ring of honor, as has Jared Goff, mm-hmm. as has Dan Campbell. Yeah. Like, for real, yeah. which I know is, is crazy to say. But I think we forget where we were. And I know that doesn't have any implications on, like, right now and DJ Reader being here on a free agency visit and stuff like that. But I never forget where I came from. Oh, yeah. The mud. Talk about it. Yeah, Caldwell was extended but then fired. (laughs) But that was at the end end of the deal, right? Nothing in the middle. Yeah. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Fonts was extended in '89. Well, he was the he was the interim coach, and then they signed him to make him the coach. So I, I, do you want to term that an extension? I don't know, but he is still the winningest coach in the history of Detroit Lions football. Yeah, and the losingest coach in the history of Detroit <laughs> Lions football. That's why I loved Wayne. Balance. This all things should be perfectly balanced. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, right. Shout out Wayne Fonts. Man. Yeah. So again, it's for me. There, there's not much to it. Um, Dave Burkett of the Detroit Free Press. Um, Dan Campbell said, uh, for the first phone call, for somebody you don't know, yet we had mutual contacts, we have a lot of people that both of us, mutual friends that we have a lot of trust in. And it was, well, I could tell it felt like it was going to be right. And then once I got around them, it was, I, you could, I could feel that early. It's one of those, well, this is who he is, and he doesn't change. We're going to be just fine. Yeah. So... Uh, they do seem like it is pretty incredible if you think about it because DMAC, how often does that work in, in professional sports? Wasn't his guy. Ownership, and this is where, you know, and, and Chris Spielman gets credit too because he was in there and you got to give Rod Wood and Sheila yeah. their props. But w- what you just said, and we all know this, right? Because we can relate. How many friends do you have? And, and like I ever, and I go, oh, you, let's say Bob and Tim. They don't know each other, but God, would they be great friends, right? We all know people that don't know each other that you know would click right off the bat. Mm -hmm. This 
is just the greatest example of that. Yeah. Right? So they sort of knew going in what they were each about, and that's why it's important to have a have a strong inner circle because that, that shows me that they both did and, and figured it out from there. But we can all relate to that, can't we? 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lorena Rios, Neil says that just coming from Washington Township. Well, Neil didn't start in Washington Township. Let's just <laughs> let's just say it like that. Roseville, stand up. <laughs> right. Yeah, KG. Roseville. What about the egg? Shout and, out and, the egg. Yeah, right. hey, I'm, and I'm deep in the egg. <laughs> As we said, the Meek Mill of Pontiac. Yes, sir. I'm Boots going in hood. Boots on the ground. KG, you, you want to run through? Just you got to hit me up first. I got you. You know, and I'll take you through. I was thinking about going out there the other day. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. I'll, make, I'll, I'll take be you sure through. to make that call. See my people, man. <laughs> I got to check in. <laughs> my, my man, DQ Cole on Oakland. He's going to the NCAA tournament from the Yak. So yeah. there you go. Jamal Kane. Those are my people, man. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Yak, man. Yeah. <laughs> yak, stand up. Now you made me forget what I was going to say, but that's, but that's all right, though. Oh, no. Here it is. DNC ENT. Great question. This is why I like you guys. Is it the Brad Campbell era or the Dan Holmes era? Uh-huh. They are. They are. Brad. And that's, that's another thing. Like, they are exclusively linked, D-Mac. We haven't seen this either. Like, you, you have, like, and I'm not saying they're, obviously, they're not there yet. But you have, like, the Belichick Brady. We've seen it, like, with players and coaches. Yeah. We haven't seen but, it with a GM and a coach but like this. you see it usually, but not with the synchronicity and the vigor and the excitement and the, the, the locker room, like, almost like players, rah-rah, right? What, it, what usually comes in the front office or whatever. You know, when you look up an LCA and see Steve Eiserman and he's giving you this look – like the, and you're winning six one, and it's the same as you're losing six one, and he never changes his opinion. Brad Holmes, you know exactly how he feels. Dan Campbell, yeah. you know exactly where they are, and I think that that they play into each other that way. There's, I want to know who the, who the who the calming influence in that, because you know that it is. And I think it's Chris Spielman, probably. You think it is? Yeah. Because yeah. he's got some fired up too. But you know what I mean? There's got to be somebody that that has the water to throw on the fire. Maybe Ray Agnew. It, it, but it's somebody, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You know that there's somebody there. There's a third party that's that buffer because these two guys, whether it's – and you can go either way, right? I, I guess it's 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 uh, Dan Holmes if, you you know, your coach is the one making good decisions and maybe as the game's going on, then it's Brad Campbell right now, free agency in the draft. So Anthony White, Pontiac Central in the house. Hey. Got some Pontiac Northern love. Shout out center line. Uh, people <laughs> that uh, one by one mile. One mile, by one mile <laughs> it's a village, technically. <laughs> hey, Neil, I think Eric Glenn, this is exactly what it is, right? And bottom line, not only lockstep, but there's a genuine love, right? You could tell Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell love each other as men. Yeah. I, I don't think we appreciate it here, though. For for real, like you don't the appreciate the it because it. Beca- you know what, Neil? Because we've never had to really look inside that organization before like that because it never was because it was always yeah. three mile island different Closed things off, like yeah. that that the culture starts by them mm-hmm. by them being that way and they, and to me that's sheila under and and chris spielman and what understanding what had to start what was the what was the egg what was the the, the seed that had to pop it because what do we talk about that locker room is the epitome of their attitudes Right, the work ethic, the go to work, the bite the kneecaps, and all that stuff. They've created this, and yes, we we're not used to it. We shouldn't be used to it. We've never had it, but this is all part of it. And it's, you know, that that's the that's the one thing. Who are the guys that are that are making the call now? Now you can get into the logistics of whether oh, can we should we sign this guy or sign that guy? But no, it's it's the same thing where it's comfortable because these guys, whether it's Brad Campbell or da- Dan Holmes, however you want to say it, are in, are in control and they know the direction that they want to go. WoodwardSports.com chat thread DNC ENT in all caps. Neil, trust me, you don't want to be Meek Mill right now. What? Why not? He got diddy. Well, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. Don't yeah. put that on my my homeboy. Yeah, Alleg- <laughs> allegedly, allegedly has been diddied, diddled by diddy. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, then Marvin Strong said you're the trick trick of the act. Am I right being yeah. the trick trick yeah. of the act? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the OG. 
There People gotta go. check in with you before they go. That's that's it. No, you don't no fly. If, if you say it's a no fly zone, they can't it, go. No, I, I, you know, I, I got, you you're know, I got some people there. You're not yeah. throwing that up yet. But no, it's just, I'm just, I feel, I don't, I don't, I'm not the decision maker for the yak. Oh, okay. I'm more of a brand ambassador for Pontiac. Got you, got Is that you. fair? That's yeah. fair. Like, like the streets know me. Yeah. And we're cool because <laughs> the streets know that I advocate for you're, the streets of the yak. You hand out. You hand out day passes, right? Yeah, like, but, but not turkeys. I'm not Nino Brown. I feel you. <laughs> I'm not the Nino Brown. <laughs> yet. I like that. That's a nice comparison. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I, th- I think maybe people had the roles confused a little bit. Okay. Like I got I, you. I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm in charge of brand advance, in, advancement for Pontiac. That's fair. I feel you. And I'm cool with the people. Like Mr. Worldwide. And the people, bingo. You're more pit bull. <laughs> there you go. Pit bull, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that is Mr. fair. Mr. 305. Right. What's Pontiac's area code? 248, man. Mr. 248. Right. <laughs> there's a there's a big divide, though, with the uh, with the, with the 248. Two yeah, 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 that's true. I, it's I'm a big divide. Say, that's a big area code. It's in Pontiac, too. Yep. Oh. I did not know So that. isn't Sterling Heights 248 as well? No, that's 586. Yeah, Southfield, I thought it was 248. Southfield is as well. Yeah. yeah. A, it is. It's a big area. Shout code. out to 586. 586, man. Holding it down. East side. Yep. All right. That's enough <laughs> of that foolishness. Tell them about Guardian, BMAC. Absolutely. I tell you every day. So please continue to listen. Guardian Alarm will offer you customized solutions from real expert professional technicians who take the time to recommend security and automated solutions specific to your needs. But I need you to call Guardian Alarm today. The number 1 800. Stay out. 24 7 professional monitoring. Call anytime, day or night. Know that a Guardian team member will stay on the phone as long as it's needed. But I need you to call the number, 1-800. Stay out. Technology backed by people. Your safety and security deserves technology that's been proven to work and people who have proven to care. Business, pleasure. Guardian doesn't care. They just want you to call the number, 1-800. Stay Stay out. Stay out of letting the coyotes beat you, please. Red Wings, please. I need it for my sanity. Stay out of the goal, Arizona Coyotes. Please, come on. Just just lay down and let us have this one, please. (laughs) Stay out of the yak unless you got permission from me. Oh. Arizona Coyotes, you better not come through the yak. Stay out. Stay Ch- out. Big D Energy, we sent you. convenient place to get that big fitness energy it's planet fitness join today for just one dollar down ten dollars a month with over 2400 locations and equipment for every workout you can get in get energized and get going and with free fitness training and most clubs open 24 hours everyone belongs in the judgment-free zone so join today for one dollar down ten dollars a month no commitment cancel any time since 1996, Feldman Automotive has been driven to provide a fast, convenient, and first-class car buying experience called the Feldman Advantage. There's 18 Feldman Automotive locations, so you know there's one close to you. And by the way, it's across all brands. Ford, Chevy, Key, whatever you need, Feldman Automotive has you covered. Go to FeldmanAuto.com today. Find the location nearest you. We'll be out there. Feldman Chevrolet in Novi every other Monday. It's Feldman Automotive. Keeping a push in Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network. You know, we I've told you before, we have like the TVs. By the way, I'm Neil Rule. That guy's Darren McCarty. Perhaps you're familiar with him. I know you're familiar with Spencer Raxter. And the streets are familiar with me and KG as well. Oh, damn right. What you got, no, Nothing. No. It was an old picture. Uh, Mad Dog Russo on ESPN has the Lions listed as the number one challenger to the Kansas City Chiefs for next year. So, well. so that, is, that is the discussion. Can I ask you a question? And I know, again, Spenny, the heavyweights, you guys have been going fairly viral lately with your talk about Lions free agency and things like that. And I've always said, like, I'm never going to get on this microphone and lie to you guys, especially, like, in the name of clicks or hits or real views or anything like that, because I'm not, because I don't, I don't have that in me. I'm, just, I'm passionate about what I'm passionate about. 
And what up? What what's Benny? Tax man calling you? No, that was oh. Dumek. Oh, was it? Oh, tax man calling you? <laughs> well, that was me. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, but anyway, um, it's just like I know I know I'm supposed to have this hot take about DJ Reader, and I'm supposed to like pound the table and say, "Gosh dang it, they need to say you can't let DJ Reader leave the building." Like I understand that, but DMac. For all the outrage, and, and I think some of it is faux outrage, not all of it, but I think there's a lot of faux outrage out there. I just, I'm not, I'm not getting overly worked up about this free agency stuff because we just got done talking about the contract extensions for, for, for Holmes and Campbell. And DMAC, it's weird. And, and we discussed how there's certain things that we have to embrace now as Lions fans that we're not used to and we're new money and all that stuff. But DMAC, I'm just not going to sit here and be disingenuous and get upset and demand free agency signings and things like that. I'm not. Maybe that makes me a simp. Maybe that makes me a Brad bot. I don't know. But I'm just calm with everything. It's. I know it's weird and I know it's new. I'm just calm about it, man. It's. Do I know that's you, bad do you for trust my profession. These guys making a decision and and in this situation, DJ Reader is a free agent, right? Yeah. yeah. So DJ Reader, we say and i know you brought it up yesterday um he did a lot of the heavy lifting inside to allow trey hendrickson to go off for what 17 or 17 and a half 17 and a half did he just not sign a new deal right yeah. so my point is is reader not looking to get paid yeah, bottom absolutely. line, yeah. bottom line. If you're taking the, a tour, league, if you're bottom, taking a tour, you're you're it's, it's going to a bottom big bottom line. Bar. Is he not looking? Is this not the one time in his life where he can get paid his ticket, right? So again, at the end of the day, you got to see if your synergies line up, right? Yeah. Now, now, do we think on the outside that absolutely everything we've talked about that he can help this team? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's now it's out of our hands. Now it's does he want to be a part of something? Is the money there as far as we want to spend it? Does he get the sale of approval from Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell? What he comes in here, and I'm not saying it is, but I look at it like it's the Jordan Davis thing. If we don't want, I don't care how good you are, if you're not part of our future and you want it, and whether it works out money, this, that, or whatever, then move it on down the line. I think he'd be great here. I agree with everybody else, but, but I'm trusting in da and Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes, yeah. right? They're the ones who's making the decision. I, I mean, my attitude with the, the Lions is the same as the Red Wings. Yeah. Trust the guys in charge. I'm hoping for this, but it's not the end of the world if it isn't. You know, but you look at, you know, you look at Carlton Davis. You, you come in and you address that, that corner. Who's the kid, the other kid? Amik Robertson. Right, but another player, what we were talking about before, that comes in and plays nickel or dime or the inside where, where Brian Branch, and you get to free him up more to play the trades and walk around. Mm -hmm. They're doing things and creating and plugging things in that they need needs, yeah. right? Needs in the free agency. That's what he said. Now, mm -hmm. I hope DJ Re and you know what? If you're going to spend money, do I think it's good money if you spend or spend top of the volume for this guy? Yes, but I got to see the synergies and I want the same attitude. And yeah. you know what? If DJ Reader is going to get to that uh, podium the way Carlton Davis did and, t and tell me that no one's running through this middle here while I'm here and stuff like this, mm -hmm. I want that, yeah. right? I want these guys, but right now, we we just sit back and wait. Yeah, and it's not the end of the world or anything like that, dude. Did you just mention the Mad Dog Russo thing, Neil? Did you mention yeah. that? Yeah, See, like like that's legitimacy to the fact that you got national pundits who think that you, you, not only you're in the conversation but putting you high on expectations of what to do. I'm with you, Neil. I ain't worried about whatever else. The money's there. The draft picks are there. This and that. You know, you, you said your concern yesterday. You know, did he give up too much a third rounder? But no, you, you also told me that it was found money because you had two third rounders. So yeah. you can gamble like this. That he created. Is this mm -hmm. the guy? Like, I'm hoping, and I'm sure Spenny and anybody who's a DJ Reader fan, that after he visits here and whatever and the signing's done is that that just like everything else brad holmes and dan campbell come out and it's just gushing over what this guy's gonna do and then he comes back and gushes back yeah. because it's real everything we're talking about with this organization take your old glasses off and and it's it's really it's new so again yeah 
It's I, the right guy. I, it, it's the old adage. I'm not in a hurry to get it done. I'm in a hurry to get it done right. I don't think he'll cost a lot either. He's coming off that quiet injury. A big part of this visit is going to be the physical. Um, checking, make sure, making sure he'll, he'll be good coming back from that injury. So I don't think he'll cost the most money in the world, and it just it makes sense, man. They they absolutely have a need there. I think it makes sense. So I mean, we'll I, see I guess, how it plays out. I guess my thing about it is, and WilbertSports.com chat thread. This one's pretty funny. Uh, Stotan coach. So Neil is the opposite of Maz. We were talking about that in the, it, before we went on the air here. Hundred million percent. Where, where Maz, you know, Maz has that New Maz York. Maz is in a him. New York uh, media. Back, back page, page uh, uh, clever always headlines. Always got to make uh, like you always got to make a splash and whatever. It's more about names and than execution. Uh, George Eagle says, "Damn it, Neil! I demand that you demand it." And guys, I'm sorry, man. Like, I'm I'm always going to be honest, dude. I'm not doing that because how many people were talking <laughs> about DJ Reader four days ago? Well, I know one guy <laughs> for real. Though. I'm talking about him for a month. Yeah, he has. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and and Spenny, like, look. Yeah, but that's yeah. where he lives. Spenny's on the line. our big guy inside. He lives so on you the don't line, count. bro. That's fair. He, he got his Glasgow. He was sitting on the offensive line yeah. on his Glasgow, and then he moved to the defensive line. What do you, with Spenny? What's your vibe, right? Because this, you've been watching this. This is your guy. What is your intuition or your fandom or whatever like this? As far as like you think that this could truly get done? Yeah, I, I do think it could truly get done. He's a Brad Holmes guy. He's dealt with injuries, so it makes him a Brad Holmes guy. No, uh, <laughs> no, 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 that's what it appears. But to your point, yeah, right. That's not a deterrent, right? A lot of a lot of teams and a lot of leagues that there's guys with injuries they don't want to touch a guy. Yeah, yeah, right. We D Neil mentioned it yes yesterday when we had. Uh, Doc Pearson on Tuesday, we were talking about this. Yeah. And it's not, and he pretty much said, no, it's, I mean, if it's not that evasive of an injury, you can fully recover. Yeah, so, it's, it's, it's not too bad of an injury for him to recover from. He does bring a lot of what we need. And right now, you only have three defensive tackles on your roster. And it's Ali McNeil, Levi Onzerike, and Broderick Martin. And the Cincinnati Bengals just signed Sheldon Rankins. Yeah, his so replacement. He's out of the Bengals are not re-signing DJ Reader. Right. He's out of the Cincinnati. So I, I would love for Bring it to happen. Home. Bring him home, man. Bring if you home. sign DJ Reader and he plays more than fifteen games next year, Aiden Hutchinson will have more than seventeen sacks. Yeah. And and I get it, man, and you're passionate about him and you have a breakdown. And and to be fair, you're not just hopping from name to name to name like a lot of the folks are around here. Yeah. Like, you know, with, with Eric Armstead, bring him home. Like, it, <laughs> I'm getting fatigued with the whoever gets cut, bring him home thing. Right, now, that right. I am passionate about. That I am tired of hearing about. I will say what Matt said yesterday was funny when he was like, uh, I've had to, kn I got to know him since he was born before I want him on my team. That, that was <laughs> <laughs> I love Matt. That was funny. Yeah, man. Uh, now, now I think this is a little aggressive uh, in the WilbertSports.com chat thread. Maz forgets his pills a lot. Now, come oh, on, come on, nah. don't do Maz like yeah, that. Yeah, come on, that's that's too much. No, Maz is consistent. Uh, real cream of wheat, <laughs> Maz. We need a quarterback, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was earlier. Detroit, <laughs> Detroit hasn't seen a relationship like Campbell and Holmes. Probably since Maz and Baker Mayfield. <laughs> <laughs> that was Maz's guy, man. Yeah. Um, WilbertSports.com chat thread. Uh, Francis Garcia. Neil, I wear readers to read small print, but keep glasses to help hide the bags under my eyes. Those are 50-year-old problems. <laughs> yeah. I got bags under my eyes, too. I yeah. noticed them in the mirror the other day. I was like, damn. Yeah. yeah uh, hoof hearted. Now, let me ask you this, Benny, before we cut to the break. A DJ reader signing means the Lions are changing to a 3-4. No, I don't think so. No, he's going to implement the, the. I think they run a four three here, right? Yeah, yeah. So he'll he'll fit right in with Aline right next to him. You can put him in between Aline McNeil and Aiden Hutchinson. You know, we're talking about him, him making you know somebody in the middle like that making Hutchinson better. You know, what he makes it better is Campbell makes makes those linebackers better. Yeah, like makes continuing a lot of better. to improve. Like that that's the whole thing. And the and the one thing is obviously Kenny. I think you nailed it on. Why is DJ Reader? Why do we see other guys don't do visits and stuff like this? Well, because there's questions, and the mm -hmm. questions are probably health. That's the biggest question about him. So you got to bring him into your, your camp to not only talk to him, but to get the physical evaluation and the sign-off. Are you 
guys in this room, if the medical staff gives a sign up and with the Lions, are you good with it? Because yeah. I, because I am. Yeah. They've proven that. That's one of Smitty brought it up. One of Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell's things is they're not afraid to get injured guys. So that means the training staff has to be great at evaluation of their doctors, and I feel that, yeah. that that's part of the team initiative. Injured players, you get them cheaper. That's the strategy. It does seem to be a Brad Holmes strategy, so. I know a good strategy for your pet supplies. It's Premier Pet Supply. That should be the only strategy for your pet supplies because Premier Pet Supply is hands down Michigan's best pet store. Same prices and all the conveniences of the online and big box retailers with one major difference. They're family and locally owned and operated for over 30 years. They got 60 plus brands of food with nutrition experts to help you. Same day local curbside home delivery. Premier Pet Supply. Give your pet the best at www.premierpetsupply.com. At work? and at home. We're there with smarter security solutions. Featuring complete automation with customized alerts and more. For over 90 years, we've been the company that's been counted on to protect what matters most, all with personalized service and care. Right now, for a limited time, receive a free video device plus free installation with a new home system. Guardian Alarm, we protect Michigan. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit. But we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Woodward Sports. I love Woodward Sports. Love wearing clothes. Then you should be wearing Woodward Sports clothes. Check out our full line of merch at woodwardsports.com. Just click on shop. We have all your favorite designs, like Dan Campbell kneecaps, Woodward Golf, and of course, our own logo. Men, women, infants, kids all love Woodward Sports. Impress your friends. Impress your boss. Impress your dog. Buy Woodward Sports merch today. Tired of the same old Detroit sports wearables? We got you covered here. WoodwardSports.com slash shop. That's right. There's a new Red Wings line out there, as you can see. Are you a Brad Holmes guy? Get the Brad Holmes guy t-shirt. I got I to gotta cop that one Yeah, because I'm a Brad Holmes guy. WoodwardSports.com slash shop. Or you can go to shop.woodwardsports.com as well. You'll get there, everybody. Trust me. The latest and best and greatest in Detroit sports wearables. Keeping it pushing, Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network, Neil Rule, Darren McCarty. We also have Spencer Raxter in the house. KG is in the house as well, all of you. What do you got, Spenny? Antonio Cromartie has 14 kids with five different women. Yes. <laughs> and he's not he's not the that he's not the best at it. He's not the best at it. Jesus. Ev- everyone's chasing Sean Kemp for yeah. life. Yeah. Many, but I thought he only had eight. They don't even know for sure. <laughs> I know Chief. Ke- I think Chief Keith's got eleven kids with ten different baby mamas. Wayne up there too. Yeah, Wayne's up there too. Little Chief Wayne? Keith had like six and six at like sixteen. <laughs> Dude's a legend. Man, he's man. fertile. Sosa's the man. Yeah. yeah, he's absolutely fertile. WoodwardSports.com chat thread. Ob Juan V. Hey Neil, stop in and say hi at Main Street Pond on Saginaw in the Yak. I'll pull it through. Yeah. As I, I was telling you guys, next time I'm catching that charter flight out of Oakland International, I'll, I'll, I'll pull over. I'll stop in. Yeah, man. I'll Check st- in with the people. They want to see I you. will. 100% I will. It is pie day. I love right. pie. I'm you know pie what? Do you like pie? Why does, every, why does every day have to be a day now? Pie day has been a thing for a while. I know, but still. 3.1496742 whatever. You made that ash up. I did. How far can you 3.14. Hey. It's 3.141596, I think. That's as far as you go? Yeah. How, Spenny, how far do you go in the pie? Oh, I'm a big pie guy. I, I go actually, deep in the pie. I got turned deep off in the pie. pie. <laughs> he goes deep in the pie. Really? I got turned off pie all for a long face. time. All over your face. all over your face. I was, a, uh, I was a manager at Grand Traverse Pie in East Lansing. Oh, no. And so at the end of the night, you know, like, like the three day old pies, you got to throw them away. And so you, we could just take them home. And so I'd always have like four pies in the freezer and two in the fridge at all times. Shooters in the socks. Shooters, Shooters in the socks. And one time my roommate sent me a Snapchat 
of him at like 3 a.m. laying in his bed eating pie with his hand. And oh he's like, my god! What have you done to me? <laughs> and so I you did this to yeah, me. I couldn't like eat that much pie anymore because. But I'm back on the pie. You're done chicken. eating pie? No, I'm back. Back on the eating chicken. pie. It took All me right. a little while because I was you were off the pie. Bad year. pie experience. I was off the pie. Well, I just ate so much of it. Well, that's that why your buddy was eating with his fingers yeah. first. Can't just dive in there. And, uh, you know, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> get a napkin. <laughs> Very plausible conversation. The main, the main uh, baker at Grand well, Traverse Pie, yeah. she used to make me this apple pie with the mountain top crust, which is like that crumbly mountain crust, and she'd put peanut butter and honey in it too. It was the best pie I've ever had in my entire life. Shout hmm. out Jess, Grand Traverse Pie. She's a great, great friend. And a great baker. That's great pies. Yeah. Peanut butter and honey, man. That does that and does the, sound good. Apple bad. pie with the crumble crust. Oh man, so good. Mike G. Maz was as frustrated yesterday as he was when he watched War Admiral lose to Sea Biscuit. <laughs> Live. My favorite pie is pecan pie, though. That's my. Pecan, I, I like pecan pie. Pecan a lot pie too. is my favorite uh, pie. I think pecan. mine right now, chocolate cream. Chocolate cream. Yeah, are, I can't, I can't very, very walk by pie. a chocolate cream pie in, in any of the grocery stores without getting that little chocolate Pause. cream pie. I'm, I'm a big key lime pie guy as well. Now, that's a like very key divisive. Lime pie, yeah, I'm not a key lime guy. Well, not you spend so much time guy. down in Florida, Neil, that you have to. I <laughs> yeah, mean, it makes yeah, yeah. so much sense. And it's only going to make more sense. We, that's what we need. We need key lime pie pitchers. When and they have, All right, they I'll have do one, it. I think it's called Lakeshore Berry at Grand Traverse Pie. It's really good. It's like raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. That's really good. That'd be a Neil one. And then the ABC, ABC pies, apples. Blueberries, cherries. Which is really, that's yeah. a really good one. Grand Traverse uh, Pie is, is goaded. Shout out to my people at GT Pie. Happy Pie Day. Okay. Happy Pie Day. Pie yeah. Day sucked at Grand Traverse Pie, though, because we'd give free slices of pie on Pie Day. There would be a line around the block Damn. at the East Lansing Grand Traverse Pie of students waiting to get their free slice of pie. That shit was awful. Banana Cream getting some love, too. Banana Cream Pie is Not a Cream Pie guy. Texture. Do you guys not know this? That Spenny doesn't like certain texture in his yeah, mouth. That's just, true. I just thought he would like cream pies. Well. I get, thought he would too, but he doesn't. <laughs> I like giving cream pies. I don't like eating cream pies. <laughs> there, it there, it there it is. There it is. Whoa. Somebody God had to damn. do it. Bring to the gutter, <laughs> Spencer. Right. Pay the over. That one took a lot long. That <laughs> I one, swear. I, yeah. It was what are you building. talking about? I was Pay the over no, betters. I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was picking up with D-Mac's <laughs> foot down over here. I set, I set the line at about eight and a half seconds, and it took like four minutes. I, I, kept, it, I kept it classy. You did. San Diego. I was trying to get Kenny to pop. Um, and I, I've told you guys before, which ironically enough, as, as into salary caps and, and contract structure and things, I'm not a huge math guy past, like, the standards. Mm -hmm. You know, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Yeah. What is what is the purpose of pi again? Like, the 3.14? Like, what is the purpose I of it? I can't even remember. I don't, know. I don't remember. So, no. I, I, it's like. That's what I expected to hear. See, Nobody knows. This no, it's something to do with the circle. Pi squared is like, oh, it's something with a parabola. It's I'm something to sure. do with the. You know, geometry. See? It's something to do with the way the world See, works. See, this is why top five disappointments high school was number five. <laughs> what a crock of shit high school is. <laughs> I could have got a head start on, on life, man. I could have just joined the workforce and got a head start on this shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. where's the where's pie the, is the ratio between listen, a Kenny, where's the wet, and Where's the pie wet dream? <laughs> right? I mean, got the 3.14. I mean, you bring pie in the dream, but I mean, give me a 3.14 lesson. All right. Spenny, you looked it up. Pie right? is a number that is used to represent the ratio between a circle's circumference and its diameter. Yeah, well, that's I what I said. Yeah. All right, what does that mean? I, I said it had so to do the with the circumference and the diameter. Yeah, so I, I know, but what does it mean? I don't fucking know. Okay. Right. I was Quit trying math. to sound all smart, Spenny. You don't I, I know read either. It off the internet. You're looking at it, you don't know. I read it off the internet. <laughs> the last time, I was good at math, all right, but the last time I took a math class was literally, I'm a journalism major. The last time I took a math class was my senior year of high school. Because I got the. You know, the AP credit, so I didn't have to take math in college. Listen, I, Neil, if I know I got 12 outs uh, on the flop, then that means I'm 48%, all right? That's all I need to <laughs> know. I need to know. 50-50, yeah. get it all in. Absolutely. Um, real cream of wheat, pie ain't that hard to figure out. Yeah, none of you know it either. Exactly. No one in here knows Pie's what's going on. Pie's the hardest on. to figure out. Who are you kidding? 
Mars and Venus, right. baby. Have fun measuring circles, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Cob- <laughs> All right. Cobzilla you got, says. Can we, you you got to cut that yeah. drop. All right. I got you. Uh, Cobzilla says, pi is used for solving problems involving the links of arcs and other curves, the area of ellipses, sectors, and other curved surfaces, and the volumes of many solids. Whatever, nerd. You're right. Yeah. Sounds Suck great. It, nerd. Sounds like a art and architecture thing. Nerd. Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> I like this too. Twin Adams put Twin Adams probably changed his name to Twin Adams so we would believe what he said here. But it said uh, it's the ratio between the radius and the circumference of a circle. Yes, but you don't know what that means, Twin and Adams. I know you, you put Adams it? in your name so everyone think you're smart, <laughs> but we see right through you, okay? When will you ever use this shit? Just be L- unless you're an engineer, probably never. Yeah. Uh, Tammy Chin, French silk, great choice. Eh. French, French wait, silk is a solid choice. Uh, miss, my wife likes French si- silk pie a lot. Yeah, miss me hmm. on that one. Bada bing, bada boom. Quote: I'm a mathematician. F you guys. Well, right, what does fair. it mean though? What do I need it for? I don't. No one knows. You don't need if you if you're not a mathematician or an engineer. I just thought it was it. this. The doesn't the, the number doesn't. Go out right, isn't yeah, it infinity? It's like, that's why I thought it was like, oh, okay, yeah. pie. Yeah, real cream of wheat. If you have a degree in engineering, you definitely know it. Yeah, how many engineering sure. degrees are in this room right now? Zero. Not at all. I work at Woodward Sports. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> journalism degree. Listen, what are, what, kind, what are we talking about? Not even close. I can work on a hockey stick pretty good. It's true. Yeah, it worked out for you. My uncle had has degrees in aerospace and mechanical engineering, so maybe I can ask him. He's oh, man. He retired at 35. Oh, should, ain't that, hey, this is a fact. Uh, thanks for bringing that up, Rake. When we go on our wrestling trips, there's a city cafe, and you get your pie, and the, the best pie before you get your meal. It's great. Uh, Dante151, is there a doctor in the house? I am. Then you must be a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> nerd. Hey, my brother, nerd. I can confirm that. My brothers are doctors, and they're both nerds, so. Whatever, Shout nerd. out to yeah. which brothers? Ian and Dylan. Ian and yeah. Dylan. Yeah. Nerds. Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, when we come back, we got our we got our Wednesday Wings giveaway, right? Yes. Absolutely. We do. We the do. Lucky winner of Darren McCarty signed Detroit mini stick. So we'll uh we'll rele- we'll reveal that coming up in just a little bit. Uh, we do want to talk a little bit more Detroit Lions, the additions, what they're bringing to the party, because I like I like what I saw. With what Carlton Davis had to say, and we'll we'll yeah. explain. Uh, we have any audio of that, or we do? We, yeah. we do. All right, good, because I want to hear that, and I want you guys to hear it as well. Uh, Freddie Felt, I have three different Oakland March Madness shirts and wrote to my mailbox. Put your money on the Grizz in the first round. We'll square up with Duke. We definitely will square you up. You want that? You want that? I want that Duke matchup. You, you so wanted bad. that? That's the one you said. I, I said because I asked you. I go, you want Purdue? You go, no, I want Duke. I want Duke, absolutely. Hey, and I. I also like Planet Fitness as well. And you guys know, we're in the Planet Fitness studios. A black card member. There's a dollar down, $24.99 a month. I get access to every Planet Fitness in the world. Work on my fitness goals. An army of cardio machines. An army of weights for Spenny. What are we on today, Spenny? Uh, it's back day today. Back day today? Yep. All right. Speaking of back, I was back on the cardio today. A little six-miler for everybody out there. But you can do that at Planet Fitness because, like I said, it's the best gym in the gym game. I'll never be a member at another gym gym ever go to planetfitness.com join there or pull in the parking lot it's planet fitness darren mccarty planet fitness where your fitness is essential big boy seafood fest is sailing in with a fresh catch of favorites dive into fish and chips our new palm crusted cod perfectly fried clam shrimp platter or a delicious fish sandwich try our new mango i see the ultimate compliment to our popcorn shrimp our all new fried pickles shrimp alfredo or shrimp stir fry experience all the sea has to offer every friday night with our all you can eat seafood buffet every day is a fish fry only a big boy a ton of fun a ton of sports and a ton of man meat welcome to the woodward heavyweights live daily 5 to 7 p.m on woodward sports every year 
after a cold and dreary winter, Metro Detroiters come together for two things. Tigers baseball and the best damned party in the world. A new season of Tigers baseball is here. And we're bringing in the new season as only Woodward Sports knows how. Broadcasting live from the biggest party. It's the Grand Slam Festival at the Detroit Opera House. Come party with 4,000 Detroit sports fans. Starting with Wake Up Woodward and rolling into Big D Energy. This is a party you don't want to miss. With Detroit's best DJs, food trucks, and of course, shots. Get your tickets now at GrandSlamFest.com. 21 plus. See you April 5th at the Grand Slam Fest. The new glorious ice water bubble hash pre-roll now with diamonds is out. Constantly pushing to create the best canna experience. The perfect boost comes from the added touch of pure THC diamond dust. Allowing flour mm. with the only the highest terps, making the best even better. Glorious cannabis. Check us out at your local retailer. That'd be Dispo or Glorious Canna. Two ends.com. Pulling up on the second hour of the show, Big D Energy, Woodward Sports I Network, Neil Rule, Darren McCarty, KG, Spencer <laughs> Raxter, all of you, and the WoodwardSports.com chat thread. Uh, just cleaning up the pie discussion here. De- De- I know it's 3.14, but that's all I know about it. I, don't, I literally don't know anything else about it. I don't think any of you do either. I'm just yeah. I'm calling everybody out, KG. Only pie I know is edible, so. There, there you go. Um Hey, sweet potato pie ain't getting no love, too, man. I got to stand up for the black folks. <laughs> yeah, sweet potato pie needs to be up there. That's fair, and I like it, too. Yeah. Sweet potato pie is very, very good. Uh, Wyatt Bear, this is a house of learned doctors, especially in this studio right mm-hmm. now. That's I true. I will say that. Uh, and then John Hughes, Revenge of the Nerds is a great movie. That is a good movie. Mm-hmm. It was, man. American Pie. American, American pie. people talk about American pie too. Yeah, classic. Uh, th- there is that. Hey, we talked about it. It's a Wings winning Wednesday here on Woodward Sports Network. Got to give a shout out to Lauren uh, at Lauren underscore four zero zero nine on the X or the Twitter, whatever you want to call it. She is a proud winner of a Darren McCarty signed Detroit mini stick. Make sure you follow Woodward Sports on the social media platforms, and you can have a Wings winning Wednesday as well. So DMAC and will sign that. Shout stick. out to Lauren for the uh, ratio of her following to followers. It's satisfying. That's pretty on point yeah, right there. there. What and is she's it? A Harry I can't see. It's a 1.1K for both of them. Oh, yeah. nice. There and she's go, a Harry Potter fan, platform nine and three quarters. So shout out to Lauren. I, I love it. Spinny. She yeah. covers the gamut. <laughs> Cover, covers the gamut there. What a. Uh, um, Hockey dogs, books, and bands. Hell yeah. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. <laughs> so there it is. The three out of four. Can't read. Speaking read, of but. bands, my boy's having a show on Saturday, if anybody wants to come out, at PJ's Logger House. Where's downtown. that? It's uh, downtown. Yeah, it's, what time? A, uh, he goes on at 8, I believe. So. What's the band name? Uh, Animal Box is the band name. Animal Box. Yeah. Great for pie They day. put on a great <laughs> show. <laughs> they put on a great show, and I, I'm going to be down what there. What kind of music? Uh, it's like alternative rock. Nice. Yeah. Originals or covers? Originals. Nice. Yeah. There my, you go. My boy Adam, he's the lead singer and uh, main guitarist. So Shout out. In very Mike G fashion, he wants to know, DMAC, what flex and curvature is that mini stick? Well, it's the one I used back in, like, 95. 95 whatever like that it should have a heel curve on it and it should be like a 95 100 flex great questions mike there you go shoot or shoot yeah absolutely shoot shoot. Shoot. <laughs> shooters in the socks as That's well right? shooters i in was the told socks. Um, but yeah again follow uh follow woodward sports on social media just cracked a hundred thousand Hey, Instagram followers, 110,000, excuse nice, me, nice. Instagram followers. So uh, that's out there as well. Be like a lot of the people you don't and follow Woodward Sports. Mike uh, Mike Hilton says, Spenny, was it you that recommended Shogun the show? Thanks. I'm into it big time. I've been yes. wanting to watch that. Shogun is fantastic. If yeah. you haven't seen it, it's on HP, or, uh, Hulu. Hulu. Yeah. It's an FX original TV show. How many episodes are you uh, I, Me and my dad are watching. We watched three so far. Watched one last FX night. do not miss. I'm about to get in. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, FX, you're right, KG. Yeah, FX does They not don't miss. The I'm only about, thing I'm I'm about, like that's the one I'm going to dive into. I just need, I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Only thing I don't like from them is uh, American Horror Story. It's kind of, kind of. Oh, like, I love Mar- I'm a big American I, Horror Story guy. A lot of people are. Yeah. I just, it's, the, it's too cheesy to me. I love it. It's a great show. <laughs> Neil doesn't watch shows. So. <laughs> yeah, I see. He's looking. 
Well, he's working all the time. He's yeah. the president. Yeah, right. you know, he's just, you know, he's got that one way down to Fort Lauderdale. You got to watch the boys on your next flight. <laughs> you said you would. I know. I said I would. And the whole season went by and I didn't. I didn't deliver. It's true. But, I didn't but, deliver. But that means you can, you know, binge. Yeah. Season four is coming out pretty soon, too. Uh, Francis Garcia. Blue Eyed Samurai was good, too. Yes. I'm deep into mm-hmm. Yellowstone right now. Yellowstone's My a great wife show. watches Yellowstone. Yellowstone's a great show. From what I've seen of it, I, I, it seems like something I would like. It's good. Yeah, it's, you, it's like, you, you definitely would. It's yeah. like cow, power cowboys. Like, the, like power, the show power, yeah, but with, with cowboys. cowboys. And yeah. they're in Montana. And they're in Montana, yeah. Shout out Montana State. Got in the NCAA tournament mm. last night. Anakin Skyogre Spencer should go to Japan. Uh, me and my boys are actually planning a Japan trip in a couple of years. So I'm excited for that. I really want to go to Japan. Yeah. My, uh, my, my cousin and his buddy went to Japan. And they were on one of the trains, and he has, like, open tattoos on his arms, and he's got a birth defect where he's missing one of his fingers. And so people were, like, shying away from him because they thought he was Yakuza. Oh, shit. Because, like, Yakuza are the only people in Japan that yeah, have, without like, fingers. open tattoos, and they get, yeah, if you yeah. fuck up, they cut off one of your fingers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> get deals. Have fun. That'd be smart. What, what happened? Like what? What happened since the commercial break? Like we were we were moving along nicely. We were, yeah. And then we we gave away a Darren McCarty signed mini stick here on on, on Mike Red G. Wings why are you talking about flex flex of the sticks and the curves and stuff like that? What we happened? Blame it on Mike G. We got hijacked, man. I'm trying to go to Japan though. I hey, I'm trying to go to the end of the year with the boys for wrestling. So oh, yeah, that'd be yeah. Sweet. I just want you know what it is, Spenny. I just want to go and and walk the streets and check yeah. out all the vending machines. Oh yeah. yeah. That that blows me away. Have, you yeah. can buy crab out of a vending machine. El Gato says there's no extradition in Japan, Spenny. So you could, yeah, I mean, theoretically, you could hide from your tax problem. That's true. Yeah. With no threat of repercussion. If you got to get away for a while. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. Let's t- can we can we can we talk about Amy Robinson a little bit? Yeah. Can we do that? Absolutely. Do that. What am I getting, Spenny? Uh, you're getting a dog. You're getting a dog. You're getting. A I know guy. Max Crosby loves him. Max Crosby loves him. All the Raiders fans loved him. He mm-hmm. is a guy that plays hard. He's a guy that plays tough. He's aggressive. He is an Aaron Glenn guy. He gets his hands on a lot of balls. Pause. It's it's it's. <laughs> he in, appreciates impressive. you saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's it's impressive to watch him play for his size. He's only five nine, but yeah. he plays like a big guy. Like he he is an Aaron Glenn guy. He is a Dan Campbell guy. Like in your face, gonna gonna. Not talk shit outside of the media, but he's going to show it with his play, and it's impressive to watch him. If you turn back his film against the Raiders, like this, this guy isn't a you know all pro dude, but to be a piece that is replacing a Jerry Jacobs or a Kendall Vildor is a huge upgrade. Is it is it fair to say like when you're throwing out those um, attributes or whatever, it's sort of like a Malcolm, yeah, Malcolm mm-hmm. Rodriguez, you know, where where we see the effort maybe a little undersized, but uh, but the heart takes over for it. Yeah. Um, you mentioned it. It's uh, one of the things, not only being physical, being an Aaron Glenn guy, but he, is, he sounds like he's got some football IQ. Yeah, he does. Why is he so cheap? He was a cap casualty. The The Raiders had to get rid of him. Right, but I'm saying, though, like, I mean, oh, he's, he's, he's mega he's, cheap. Like, yeah, because he's, he's, he's not elite at one thing. Right. He and played so, his way into a starter role. Yeah, with them. He, the injuries that happened and his play kept him in the starter role. But he's not a lockdown outside corner. He's not. He is a versatile guy. But he. Yeah. But he's an upgrade from like you said from a can. So here's the thing that I'm going back to is the the ball that goes off of Vildor's head into yeah. Ayuk's hands, right to whatever. Probably doesn't this happen is, to him. This is the guy that's going to be back there defending them, and you'd feel better. Yeah. yeah. Right, Spenny. Like so, it's an upgrade to what we've had. Yep. So and, and more of a kneel and approve it and something that there's still question marks, but yeah. but there's something there he, that being a Aaron Glenn da- Dan Campbell culture guy that that's what I see here. Yeah, he has a lot of room to grow too. He's only 25, got a lot of runway in front of him. And then, like Spinney said, it's really the versatility. One thing you know, uh, Brad and Dan love about their football players is versatility. He can play inside and outside as well. So. You know, uh, we'll we'll see what he got, man. But I'm I'm excited about it because he's essentially on a one year, four and a half million dollar deal. Yeah, that's the practical. That's the practical guarantee of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if he plays like a dog, they can pick up his next year at like right. six something million, or they can cut him with only like a one point five million dead cap hit. One point six five. Yeah. Yeah. 
So he's essentially, like we talked yesterday about practical guarantees. Yeah. His practical guarantee is one year, four and a half million. Mm -hmm. So, all right, I like it. Um, and I knew, I'm, I'm surprised it took this long, but I'm salty. Better than Will Harris. That's all that oh, matters. Yes. That's 100% true. Yeah. And he's a demon on special teams. And he's made plays in, in big moments, yeah. in big games. So, so Spenny, I go back to what you told me yesterday. The cornerback room is tangibly better yeah. than it was last year. Yes. Then what's everybody's problem? I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of like last year, you know, when they got rid of Jamal Williams and DeAndre Swift in favor of Montgomery and then drafting Gibbs. A lot of people was like, you know, he had 17 touchdowns. Why wouldn't you resign Jamal? But it turned out to be a better, you know, group that we brought in. So it kind of reminds me of that. I'm struggling to to figure out why there are shows in this town where they're killing Brad Holmes in, in again, maybe I'm a simp, I don't know, but with that being said, I'm just I'm struggling to find the connection. Spenny tells me the room's better. I look at the room. The room seems to be better it, on paper. A, yeah, on paper. It's the room seems to be very flexible financially on paper. You know that checks my biggest box right yeah. there. They're not, you know, well, you're not on the line for five at 95, 85 guaranteed. Yeah. Just d -Mac, can you help me at all on this? I don't – the room's better, so we seem to be progressing nicely. So what's the problem? There isn't a problem. It's only a – I'm told there is. Yeah, yeah, but that's by the – that's by the the fans that – that aren't educated and seeing what happened. I'm done. After yesterday, you know what? I <laughs> read tapped out. Right? Well, no, no. I, and I meant it. <laughs> yeah. right? But here's yeah. the thing. I don't care anymore when it comes to Red Wings, when it, whatever. You're either, if you want to listen to why it's going to work down the road and eventually building it, like it's a thing. Like, I couldn't be happier with, with, you know, yeah, I want our Red Wings to win and stuff like that. But as far as the Lions, Look at all the moves that are made and letting these guys cook. So here's the one thing, Neil. If I'm going to tell you that I trust this guy, then I trust. I'm all. I'm all in mm -hmm. for for whatever else until it's not to be. Because they're bringing in culture, they're bringing in people. It can only, you know, it's not for the the idiots that want everything else, that want the splash, that just want to spend money, that want to see whatever else. Yeah. I see it. I see it through the locker room and through the culture and everything like that and everything you're saying. You know, taking the information that the guys that watch us, yeah, you're already better in certain positions. Mm -hmm. You know, for, like, it's they're building it the way they want. Yeah. And this goes Red Wings and Lions. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's one of these, like, okay, you know what? That's I believe they're going to give me what I want, and that's championships. Yeah. I want it now, like everybody else, but that's not how you do it. Yeah. How do I know? I don't know. I got four of them. Talk to him. Four of them. Not one. Not two. Not, not three. three <laughs> but voice. four. Four. So, I don't know. So, I'm done. It's, it's a sector of the I'm fan done. base. It's, it's always going to be that aren't. I, yeah. it, but, so, Neil, we're talking to the ones that realize it. Because I know you're out there. Mm -hmm. And you see it. And, yes, it's not saying that you don't want it. It's just accepting the fact that. This is the way it is. The, the, because, and it's the bottom line, I'll say it because you're fucking idiots. Who? It's all the fucking idiots out there. All right. We, that I got want to bitch and moan and draw <laughs> and whatever for out of reason. Because when you break it down, what is, the, what is the goal? Like, does anybody listen when the GMs talk, no matter what it is? He did warn y'all about this. So Did but, Brad Holmes not say? He did it. Well, that I'm going to improve the needs through free agency and trades. Right. And, it's and not I'm going to get right. talent in the draft. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to look how y'all think it's going to look. He did say it. So, But a lot of fans, we were linked to Legereus Sneed. So we, we want the big names. That's always but, been and, and a, a Kevin heel of And, and I got a couple of messages. When we come back from the break, I'm, yeah. I'm going to – because this is going to turn into something. Oh, here. yeah. Like oh, I, yeah. I wanted – I want to talk about Carlton Davis and I am, mm -hmm. but these things present themselves. So I, I, I want to discuss this because here's the angle, because I was told something else other than this, but I want to figure it out. We'll get to the I, bottom. Here's of a this. great, before we go to the break, Chuck Brewer, did you win those four on the timeline you wanted or did it take longer than you wanted, but made it sweeter to whatever like this? Yeah, absolutely. We talk about it all the time. The difference between the Lions and, and the Wings back in the day is that 
everybody is all in on the Lions, no matter what it is, and we believe we're going to get there, and everybody's supporting them, mm -hmm. right? For us, it was the opposite. Everybody didn't think we could get there and whatever else, and then we did. And then we failed. And then you did four times. We did. Yeah. We, won, we won back to back, and then we continued. Then we failed. Mm -hmm. And then we won again, and then we failed. Yeah. yeah. If we failed more than we won, right, even to the finals, that's part of it, but you've given your chance. But the one thing is I never did not go to training camp in my career and not think I had a chance to win the cup. That's what they're. Tr that's what Steve Eiserman and Brad Holmes are trying to give you as a sports fan. Is that when you go to go to camp every year, you're thinking about we got a chance to win. We got a chance to have a pre. That's all it is. Did you ever contact Swiss Insurance and ne and ever think I'm not going to get the best insurance coverage? No. No, I did not. But you know what? If I did, I would because good news and bad news. Bad news is insurance rates are going up across the board in Michigan. Good news is Swiss Insurance is here to help. Right now, more than ever, it's critical for you to have your insurance reviewed. That's why Swiss Insurance will make sure your carrier does not slip in extra fees or raise deductibles. Just give my buddy Mark a call today. Swiss Insurance, 248-800-4177. Go to visit SwissINS.com and tell them Woodward Sports, we sent you. Where's the most convenient place to get that big fitness energy? It's Planet Fitness. Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month. With over 2,400 locations and equipment for every workout, you can get in, get energized, and get going. And with free fitness training and most clubs open 24 hours, everyone belongs in the judgment-free zone. So join today for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit. But we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Woodward Sports. Every year, after a cold and dreary winter, Metro Detroiters come together for two things. Tigers baseball and the best damned party in the world. A new season of Tigers baseball is here, and we're bringing in the new season as only Woodward Sports knows how. Broadcasting live from the biggest party, it's the Grand Slam Festival at the Detroit Opera House. Come party with 4,000 Detroit sports fans, starting with Wake Up Woodward and rolling into Big D Energy. This is a party you don't want to miss with Detroit's best DJs, food trucks, and of course, shots. Get your tickets now at GrandSlamFest.com. 21 plus. See you April 5th at the Grand Slam Fest. You have an opinion? Make sure it's seen and heard. Corner, jumper, and Tweet us. Hop on the YouTube chat. Slide in the DMS at Woodward Sports on all social media. Neil Rule here for Jack Labrador. Football season was over, but now it started again. Spring training is going, but Jack Labrador never ends. It's 24-7, 365. You can learn how to play on your phone right now. Scan that QR code that's right above my Detroit City FC logo right up there. And jump on that phone and go to jacklabrador.gg. Two new symbols in a franchise-changing three-point play. It's the card game that's sweeping the nation. Once you go Jack, you never go back. JackLabrador.gg Alright, keeping it pushing here. Big D Energy. We stumbled onto something and um, you know, I didn't do it. People did it all by the... I was told some things. The math's not checking out. I'm here to see why. Uh, DNC ENT in the caps. Pass rush. That is the problem. That has always been the problem. I was told the problem's the secondary. Was I not told that? Well, it's really both, but... So, so, um, I don't know. Can we just wait until free agency or the draft so we're addressing different things, right? Are we not addressing different things? You just told me the cornerback room's better, which I agree. We haven't made a move to see what the defensive attack... Or we haven't made a move yet. So, can we not wait until all this movement's done and the visits are over and stuff like this and then right like if we're sitting here at the end of free agency going into the draft not only do we have a direction i would think is this not mm -hmm. what we wanted free agency and and trades will tell you which sort of direction you're going to go in the draft but he's not done yet so can we at least wait until he's done 
Just, um, just wait till he, just wait till he's done because I think some of these questions will be answered. I mean, isn't yeah. this isn't the big question about DJ Reader about the exact thing that you just questioned mm. about the pressure or about different things like that? Dan Wood said, because everybody wants shiny things. That's true. Maybe that's fair. Lorena Rios. Neil, when checking out whether or not the math works, don't forget to factor in pi. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought I pi was a circle-related thing. You always factor in pi. I thought that was a circle-related thing. So it's, a, it's a sugar imbalance. You know, you know Neil, it's like you like the key lime pie, so you got to make sure the pie doesn't get to your brain. Alan W., we... We wanted to improve at cornerback. We did. So, so we're all in agreement, right? Spenny told me the room's better. Mm-hmm. Spenny likes these guys. Mm-hmm. So we're in. So yeah, w- that was handled. I agree. I, I'm with KG, though. It's people heard the lines were talking to Sneed, and so now they're all upset that we didn't get Sneed. Okay. Guys, you're not going to get everybody you want, man. That's mm-hmm. true. So, so my question, too, about the pass rush, because he, he goes on to say, we wanted to improve the D-line. We got Davenport, and now we're getting Reader today. Well, I mean, well, yeah. he's getting aggressive there, but whatever. On top of that, Holmes is going to hit in the draft. So, like, I just – so I do what I do, right? Like, I'm like, okay, so if it's the pass rush and they signed Davenport, they they took a look at it. They made a move. I, what What is that shiny t- – what's, what's the huge move that shifted the scales of justice? From the from the pass rush position, right? Like I know the Giant, what the Giants made a big mm-hmm. deal and got Burns, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's huge. Josh Allen, yeah. Well, yeah. Josh Allen got oh, Daniel wait, no. Hunter to yeah. the to, to the Texans. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, which I understand. I get that. You weren't in, like you didn't have enough. To, either you did, weren't in on them, or you didn't have enough to get them. Yeah. Right? Is that fair? Yeah. So who knows? I have I have a suspicion that the phone calls were made and all that kind of stuff. Maybe they weren't though, because cost of acquisition that came into play. So like I don't, Dmac, help me, man, because I'm not I'm not getting. I can't it. help you. Okay, thank I, you. I cannot help you, Neil, because you and I think differently than so I don't know what it is other than shiny toy and whatever like this. <laughs> At the next level, yes, you need to make moves. You got to make the right moves. And and these, obviously, for some reason or not, whether you're not going to get everybody you want. There's other teams that are out there. Yeah. And it just doesn't, like, t- to me, It and it's not talent. It's more of culture. That's what they've proven, is that we've wanted so many different guys, and it's, like, not for them. Okay, right, move right. on. And don't forget this, too. And I was, I was going to land the plane. What? But before you land the plane, yeah. but like, am I wrong? Is can we just wait till it's over? Yeah. Like, wait till for wait well, you know till the that, end of the week. You know I the understand, but you know the I get it. But that. just like, because you're that's like the most unfair. And it's amplified now because we were so close to a Super Bowl. We actually have tangible results of this regime, so that's why fans are even more than what I would say in previous I am too. years. Yeah, like and, I, I am and, too, yeah, man. I, I suffer from that too. I was kind of disappointed at you know at first with with some of the moves made, but I understand it though. Um, he got with Carlton Davis. I know we were going to go yeah, over that. Yeah, we're going to get to him. Yeah, but he he got a, a player with similar production for over half the price. So I mean, I I can't be mad at it. And like D Max said, we got to see it on the field first. And that and that's I guess that's what I'm driving at. And by the way, too, like you brought up the Snead thing, Super Juggernaut 87 kind of kind of stole my thunder here. Don't forget, guys, no one got Snead. He stayed where he was. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Nobody got. So what are you, for real, what are you missing out on? Like, okay, so, so you're, as a Lions fan, it was Burns or Daniil Hunter or it's trash. Like that's, like it's, right, it's a bust. Right. It's over. Back up the truck. Guys, let's cut the shit, man. Because here with this season coming up, by the way, it's going to be tougher. Your schedule's harder. That, that's what it is. Teams around you got better. It's not going to be easy. You're not going to have this thing won by... But the Broncos game was when it was officially put to bed. Yeah. That's not going to happen again, guys. This gets harder as you go. Because you're a good... It's not going to get easier. I, I, DMAC, what was the hardest one to win? I'll answer for you. That first one. You've been my friend for over a decade. I told you. 
I didn't believe in you. After you, lo after you lost to Colorado, I thought it was over too. I was most hurt by the San Jose loss, but after you lost to Colorado, I didn't think you were going to do it. I looked you in the eye and told you that. Mm. I doubted you. Mm. I doubted your team. I doubted the man that I simp for, Sergey Federer. I never doubted him. <laughs> but I doubted all of you. <laughs> the rest of y'all. I doubted of you, bums. <laughs> you bunch of dogs. Right. Come on, man. What do you else you want a guy with right. white blades to do? Yo, yeah. do Sergey, man. Sergey has a Ferrari, and he dates Anna Kornikova, and he's got a Nike right. deal in white skates. He can't be the problem. Y'all help Sergey, man. Yeah. <laughs> what are y'all doing? <laughs> Thank God. No. Thank God, man. <laughs> I just, I just went through it. With Oakland, like, those games were intense. Yeah. Because if you don't, if you don't do it, when are you going to get a shot to do it again? You know what I'm saying? But I do believe the Lions as constructed will be a factor for a long time. The Lions as constructed. Most importantly, the Lions the way they are financially constructed with the talent evaluation they have. Yeah. That's it. It's not Brian Burns. Uh, you know what it is? Brad Holmes is building Noah's Ark, not the Titanic. Ooh. That's what it is. That's a bar. It's building Noah's Ark. It's got to get through the storms and whatever, and at the end of the day, everybody inside will survive. Yeah. It's not Daniil Hunter. It's not Hunter. the Titanic. That's the freaking shiny toys and everything else. Put it all in one, and boom, what happens? Boom, iceberg. We're avoiding that. We okay, are Noah's Kel Ark. Okay, Kel Bossa, nothing we've done so far would change us getting torched like last season. Torched how? Torched win. He's talking about the secondary, man, but Kendall... They fixed that! Yeah, and, exactly. and I know that's what he's talking about. We're, we're not going to have Kendall Vildor like, as our number two going forward. You, you know? lost Vildor, right? Will Harris. You know, like, look at... Right, Jerry Jacobs. Guys. Jerry like, Jacobs, yeah, right? Not, You've already... It's not the same. Uh, Spenny, if we're sitting in here... After all the watch parties and everything last year, and you said you got this this guy, this guy, this guy, you're like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. We'd have these guys. They're better players. You can't just go. Sometimes you can't just go from from a one, two, or a three to a nine or a ten. You got to mm -hmm. get that six or seven in there. Right. Yep. Right. right? That's fair. So, so did we pick up, you know, a six, six or a seven that, that has potential? The biggest thing, right? <laughs> right? That's got potential. They try harder, Steve. They try yeah. hard. <laughs> they got some try hards in here, yeah, Spreddy. Right. The old two at ten, ten at two. Let's yeah. go. Exactly. Play the game the right way. Let's go. Play the game the right way. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? You got to work your way to the dime down piece. The nines and tens. Teach y'all a lot out there. I just want to know, like, Getting torched, because I know what that means. Getting mm -hmm. torched. Secondary. All right. They address the secondary. Who was the play? Who was your Daniil Hunter in the secondary? Who was your Brian Burns in the secondary that they couldn't get? Yeah. Who was it? Spenny, help me. You're, you're, you're a free know. agency, dude. I don't know. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, weird when you, it's weird when me and Easy are the ones that are telling the fans, like, you guys got to fucking relax. Like, we, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, me and Easy have been on here the past couple days, like, fucking relax. <laughs> like, Carlton Davis is a good player. Yeah. We believe in Brad Holmes. And the, the free agent market wasn't that great for corner anyway. Your top two was Snead and Jalen Johnson. They both got retained. Yeah. So it's like, you know. So that wasn't the he, free agency market. And you and Exactly. He went into the trade market and went and got somebody. So, yeah, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. But we just got to let it play out. Well, they, you, Spenny, you bring up a good point. I'll use easy as an example. When I right, the old easy would have hung on the Daniil Hunter signing and would have been so pissed or so pissed. Instead, he talked it out and realized, oh, my God, right? It's yeah. not all the same to whatever. So to the facts of yes, I think it's as, as is important, right, that you guys are saying calm down because you'll call it and you'll be the first ones to, to get fired up. Is that not correct? Mm -hmm. Call mm -hmm. it like you see it. Yeah. So, right, because it's our fandom – just like it had to change during the season for the football team, has to change in the off season. Um, Mario Brown, number one, no consistent pass rush. I thought we got a Hall of Famer at one edge, right? But no, no. Now you're gonna be like, oh, Neil, you're being a hater right now. No, 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 no. That you told me that. You guys told me that. Right. So you have half the pro. So how can your pass rush not be consistent? No consistent pass rush. 
Well, then I'm confused, guys. Which is it? DJ Reader. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Spanny. But, hey, okay, even your DJ Reader thing, right? Your DJ Reader thing. Then what, Spenny? All right, you bring him here. You bring him home. Yeah. He's your Vita Vea, right? Like, your, your double team eater. Yeah. Right? In a sense, yeah. Your guy that accounts, that you have to account for him with two bodies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you bring him home, Spenny. How does that help the pass rush? I think that frees up Aleem. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think we, that helps the pass rush by freeing up Aleem and Hutch. But yeah. if, and Hutch? Yeah. Well, here's the thing, So you're right? going to get Hutch help in your scenario. Yes. Yeah. But you're still going to ride with Hutch. Yeah. Oh, of course. So he's pretty good, then. Dude, it's yeah. the, the new... Yeah, for sure. Right? This, like, the the DJ Reader thing, like, if you sign that, then, then how can you complain about anything about addressing? Because not only that, if you free up Aleem and the inside, what do we see from... I'm going to use Kansas City and Chris Jones and whatever. Mm -hmm. The pressure in the middle, right? We're all talking about the ends and the yeah. sacks. No, it's you need that initial pressure in the middle to open up your DNs. So we're not done addressing it. Let's just wait right. and see what happens. We yeah, still a lot more to go. Draft coming up. So okay, so so that was it. Um, I do want to. Uh, we are going to get. We we're, we're doing it. We're getting to the Carlton Davis. Damn, I'm, this I will pound the table. For. Yeah, we're talk talking Carlton it. Davis when we come back. One million thousand percent. And we're also talking about Big Boy here in Detroit because you guys know what it is. That's right. It's time, everybody. The Seafood Fest is here. Friday, the all-you-can-eat seafood buffet, the fish and chips, the Parmesan-crusted cod, all of it, everybody. It's that time of year. Get in there. Fridays, you're going to have to get behind Spencer in line, but that's all right. You can do it. Smelt, you big smelt guy, Spenny? I love smelt. Yeah, I know you do, absolutely. Fried clams, 100%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's in there for it, everybody. Get to your local big boy there, Detroit Institution. By the way, was out there at the Motor City Rockers game, Frazier Ice Arena. Oh, yeah. The big boy in Frazier is open right now yes, as well. So slide on through for Seafood Fest at your local big boy. Walk into any Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men for an award-winning haircut experience from one of our talented stylists. Enjoy a precision haircut, hot lather neck shave, scalp and neck massage, and a hot towel treatment to top it off. Enter for your chance to win the $50,000 Perfect Bracket Challenge. With more than 25 Metro Detroit locations, there's always a Lady Jane's near you. Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men open seven days a week. Walk in anytime. Lady Jane's, it's wicked awesome. A ton of fun, a ton of sports, and a ton of man meat. Welcome to the Woodward Heavyweights, live daily 5 to 7 p.m. on Woodward Sports. I love Woodward Sports. Love wearing clothes. Then you should be wearing Woodward Sports clothes. Check out our full line of merch at woodwardsports.com. Just click on shop. We have all your favorite designs, like Dan Campbell kneecaps, Woodward Golf, and of course, our own logo out merch. Men, women, infants, kids all love Woodward Sports. Impress your friends. Impress your boss. Impress your dog. Buy Woodward Sports merch today. What's up, everybody? Woodward Sports has a new morning show. Start your day with Wake Up Woodward. Damn Monday right. through Friday, 8 to 10 a.m. Live on Woodward Sports. Kool-Aid, Flannel Sam, Broder, JB Smooth, and KG. Every morning as they cover all of Detroit sports. Sports talk, banner, live fan interaction, all the stuff you love Woodward Sports for. It's all on Detroit's number one sports network, of course. That is Woodward Sports. All right, keeping it pushing here. Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network, Neil Rule. Darren McCarty, KG, Spencer Raxter, all of you just chopping it up. WoodwardSports.com chat thread. I'm just, I was asking people to explain some stuff or explaining their positions because the math doesn't add up. And I factored in pie and everything and it still didn't add up. Um, Kyle Lalone, hope we sign Armstead. Am I the only one that just doesn't see it with Eric Armstead or no? Am I crazy? I don't know. I like Armstead. Yeah. It could. It, it's, a, it's a possibility. If they don't the play it. His playoff stats are, you can't question them. That's fair. Yeah. If they and don't he, sign a reader, it's possible. He's a versatile guy. Versatile. What's his number? Ish. Yeah. Best guess. Probably 10 plus. Or 12, somewhere around there. 12 to 15, I would assume. Damn, you're getting higher and higher, yeah. man. Right. 
Yeah, probably 12 to 15. I don't know. It's hard to, because everybody's getting paid the crazy deals now because the cap went up. So it's hard to predict. All right. Fair enough. Um, speaking of free agency, though, we're speaking on it. Carlton Davis. Yes, sir. The Detroit Lions acquisition via trade with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They gave up a third rounder. He's got one year, well, one year, $14 million, yes, right? Sir. Mm-hmm. Left on his deal for this year. I raised my eyebrow at it, but DMAC, we got a chance to hear from him. And here is Carlton Davis. Man, you about to get a lockdown corner. You about to be able to have one side just like, you know, unavailable. Uh, that's what I do, you know. I'm here to take out the number one receiver on any team. I'm here to deny the ball. I'm here to take the ball away. And there you have that. I mean, I like that. That's what you need. You didn't have that last year. Yeah. I like guys that are coming here and, and, and talk the talk. And yeah. you know, obviously, you got to walk the walk. DMAC, I raised my eyebrow at it yesterday. It was a significant investment of draft capital, found pick or not, created pick or not. Mm-hmm. It was. But with that being said, and it's just talk, I get that. I like the talk so far. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, coming in here in a position of need that we needed, you nailed it, Kenny, who were the, you know, like, this is one of the guys and that you're going to get that fits in with the culture, that mm-hmm. wants it as long. We saw his stats and stuff like this. You mentioned that, you know, Jamar Chase had named that he was the toughest one to cover him. That means something to me. So, guy that wants to smoke coming in here, yeah. knowing, knowing that he is going to be CB1. I mm-hmm. like that. So now go out and like we got to oh. now you got to do it. Go out, prove it, stay healthy. But you're definitely better. Definitely better. Somebody in the chat thread, you know, pretty much you don't have Will Harris on the field. Yeah. Jerry, you know, Jacobs, Vildor, stuff like that. You're automatically better. Yeah. A lot of people saying he was a CB2. That's that's crazy, man. Or a CB3. I've heard too. Uh, Carlton Davis is far from that. He's very good man cover. I know the interception numbers don't blow you away, but passes defense is there. Um, if he stays healthy, he's absolutely a CB1 for your team, and I'm just looking forward to what he's going to bring. By the way, too, and Pistons fan 11, thanks, thanks for marking me on this because this is low key. And no one in this town has talked about this. And I was actually I was thinking about saving this for tomorrow, but you're right. Pistons fan 11, so I, I got to give you the credit because you brought it to the light and it's out there. Jonah and C.J. Gardner-Johnson could get us a comp pick depending on what we spend in free agency. Now, the the compensatory pick rules, I, I don't think they were ever fully made public. You've had you know, writers and everybody that kind of study the, the circumstances around them and have kind of come to the, to the the point of the projection of where it is. Depending on what the Lions spend in free agency, C.J. Garner-Johnson and Jonah Jackson, for sure, could net them a comp pick. Mm -hmm. So, thinking about that, with this Carlton Davis move, was Brad Holmes able to create Carlton Davis out of thin air? I mean, I guess, I, I guess, too, if you look at it, from the standpoint of it was part of the Hawkinson trade, the pick he traded, so mm. theoretically, what if he essentially got Carlton Davis on a one-year free agency deal? I mean... If he got the comp pick back. Yeah. What if he did it? You tell me. You're, that's right in your well, wheelhouse. I, mean, I don't know. Is that playing a part in the free agency moves the Lions make? Could be. Is it? I yeah. don't know. He gained capital, too, with this trade. We got two yeah. six-rounders. Two six-round picks, so, right. And I assume those will go towards trades in the draft as well. So, yeah. Well, you wouldn't have got that with LeJarius Sneed. So. No. Motown Cool for 2025, though, right? I believe so, yes. Yeah. But still. Yeah, still. Would you would – you, It's uh, an asset. It's a movable w- asset. Right. And, and would you take a year delay in getting your second, third-round pick this year in order to land yeah. Carlton That give you more flexibility Davis. for next year. It's the same rinse and repeat cycle. You're going to have to replace talent every year. So, yeah, it's it's good that he has the wherewithal to be able to, you know, plan for these things and be able to to get draft capital. He's, he's very meticulous in how he operates. So, um, yeah, I'm all for it. And a great catch here, too, by Dayjuice. Who's famous for this, Spenny? Hmm. 
Who, do, who does those moves? That acquires, then guys leave. They're not overly active in free agency, primarily because they're always butted up against the cap. Oh, the Chiefs. And who else? They played in the Super Bowl, too. 49ers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. It's Deju says. Like, there's a method to all this stuff, yeah. guys. Which, which, oh, my gosh. What two teams did you just talk about when you're mentioning this method? The teams you're chasing. Teams you're chasing, teams that are perennial Super Bowl contenders, right? Yeah. You're in those waters now. So, there you have it. But the moral of the story, the Carlton Davis thing, I like what he had to say. I like what Spenny had to say. Uh, this, is, this is, I believe, the Brad Holmes setup where he is not chasing a Daniil Hunter. He's not in a bidding war for a Brian Burns. He lays back in the cut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's what he does. And when an opportunity presents itself, he makes his move. Like this Carlton Davis thing, that was an opportunity that presented itself. Cap casualty. Right. Buccaneers, but the cap's not real. <laughs> but it's real when you got to sign Mike Evans and Baker Mayfield. Then all yeah. of a sudden it becomes as real as it gets. And as we'll see cuts continue to happen, I, I don't think you're going to see a DJ reader, Spenny. I don't. I do. <laughs> you do or you want. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this free agency looks a lot different with DJ Reader added to the list of names, though. I'm just saying, guys. Say it, it makes it look a lot better on paper. You know, this isn't Matt Millen out here. It's not. Just keep naming everybody that has come before. Predecessor. This is no way. This is totally operating different than we've ever experienced with this Lions regime in, our, in anybody's life. Absolutely, man. So... That's all. Just think. That's all. I'm just asking the people to think. Uh, when we come back, I, DMAC and I got to get to the core of an issue because Red Wings play tonight. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> must is there a bigger must win of the year? Biggest game of the year. There. How do you like that? How did a uh, car Great flag looking, Neil? What's that? How did car flag looking? I took it out because of the rain. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's always something with you. Listen, it's always something <laughs> with you, Mr. Hey, Mr. Kenny, Mr. Hey, know, hey, listen, you'll know that. That's why he's the best in the bridge, and that's yeah. why he's the president. But let me tell you about Lady Jane's walking and Lady Jane's haircuts for men for award-winning haircut experience. From one of the talented stylists, enjoy precision haircut, hot lather, neck shave, scalp and neck massage, and a hot towel treatment to top it off. Enter for your chance to win. $50,000 in the NCAA Perfect Bracket Challenge with more than 20 Metro Detroit locations. Lady Jane's haircuts for men open seven days a week. Walk in any time. It's wicked awesome. Stop searching for a vehicle and start finding one. Les Stanford Chevrolet Cadillac makes it easy. We harness the power of multiple dealerships and own the biggest selection of GM brands in the area to get you the car you need. With the Les Stanford Group, you'll have access to four different dealerships, providing you with more makes, more models, and more choices. We're connected to more than 1,000 vehicles, and with so many high-quality CPO vehicles available, you'll find new car quality at pre-owned prices. You can start and end your search at lesstanford.com today. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit. But we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Woodward Sports. I love Woodward Sports. Love wearing clothes. Then you should be wearing Woodward Sports clothes. Check out our full line of merch at woodwardsports.com. Just click on shop. We have all your favorite designs, like Dan Campbell kneecaps, Woodward Golf, and of course, our own logo. Men, women, infants, kids all love Woodward Sports. Impress your friends. Impress your boss. Impress your dog. Buy Woodward Sports merch today. What happens when you run a great business for over 50 years? Well, you expand and offer more products to more people. It's exactly what Les Stanford did by adding Les Stanford Buick GMC, the same great service that customers have come to know and trust on Woodward Ave, just south of Nine Mile. Check out Les Stanford and Dearborn today at lesstanford.com. Les Stanford Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. All right. Coming down the stretch here, Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network, Neil Rule and DMAC and Spencer Raxta and KG. 
all of you in the WoolworthSports.com chat thread. Don't forget the show's on a podcast, too. Big D Energy Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, Spreaker, wherever you get those podcasts. Hook it up. Rewind, fast forward, listen whenever you want to. Uh, DNC ENT, the last comp pick we got was Kirby for Kenny Galladay, who caught the same amount of passes Kirby's rookie year. <laughs> Shout out. Shout right. out. Shout out. Absolutely. Genius. So so there's that out there. Genius move. Yeah, there, there's that out there as well. All right, DMAC, got to talk about the Red Wings here tonight. And look, um, yeah, I, yeah, fight, yay, fight and practice, oh, stuff practice. like that. <laughs> that, that, that. I guess that's a 2024 version. <laughs> um, of what a fight in practice is, but you know, D Mac. Hey, listen, I I tweeted it. I said, I said, you know what? They show more emotion there in practice than they have in the last week. So hopefully they can carry that over. Yeah, yeah. And again, this is as close to a must win as you can have in March, I guess, uh, for the Red Wings. Arizona's coming into town, who is a much different team when they are not at home than when they are at home, which when you're a young team, that tends to be the case. These are non-negotiable here, DMAC. They're no, non-negotiable. This, this one is, and I'll, I'll call it a must win. I mean, you got to, this is set up. You got one of the worst teams in the league. You were embarrassed by them in their barn last week. That's sitting right in, your, in the back of your head. You, you know, like if, if bottom line, the message in that room is if this is, this is uh, game seven, this is as much win to, as you need to get. You're at home. These next two games, about Thursday, Saturday, you have to win this. We mentioned it yesterday that you're going on a hellacious road trip um, coming up that doesn't get easier. So let's just take care of these two points. Get two points. I don't care how. I don't care if you have to go if to it, overtime it, well, and get yeah, a shootout. I'm, with you. I'm two, not going to call up. Two points is up. two points, right? Yeah, I'm not caught and, up in the method. And, and this is as big of adversities that you're going to face, and, and you're doing it without your captain, but it's time for different guys to step up and, and get it done. So I'll be in the building, come say hi. I'll be walking around before and stuff like this, but we're all in this together. So let's get this building rocking and rolling like we can, mm-hmm. uh, like we have been, like it was for my heritage night against uh, Colorado. Let's pretend this is Colorado in here and it doesn't matter and go blow these guys out. Uh, Islanders are at Buffalo, by the way. That's a 50-50 game, dead even, could go either way. Uh, the Rangers are at Tampa Bay. And, yes, now it's time, DMAC. Like, I can officially lock in. I can officially lock in, start watching other games during intermission, stuff like that, monitor the scores, right? We can do that now. We're in. Well, if it wasn't playoff hockey, it is now, right? If the last week was the playoffs, you're out. But now it's that. that's the beauty of, of – and that was the beauty. And you got to look at the positives. That's why you played well earlier in the year. You know that you haven't played well, which is a good sign that you just have to get back to basics so to speak and quit doing each other's job and you know use that power play we the bottom line to bring it let's go that's why you're here Kane let's go that's why you're here like big boys you got to step up you want to be the these guys then then go out there and show it and uh you know the the confers and the cops and all these guys the sprongs the guys that have helped you know carry the load we need you tonight this, there's, this is a non-negotiable I couldn't have said it better myself, you know, and, and it is. Uh, WoolworthSports.com, chat thread. Uh, Mike G, what concerns me with Larkin <laughs> out of the lineup is how fragile this roster becomes the last few games. That's a concern. That it, right, it is, but you know what? It's, it's one of those concerns that it doesn't matter. So you can't be concerned with it now when you can take the 30,000-foot view and say, why did this happen? But you're right in the middle of it now. Who cares? It doesn't matter. You just got to go out and find a way. Yeah. You're exactly correct, though, and it shouldn't be because you were set up. Mm-hmm. You were insulated yeah. with the with the production that you were getting, and it just everybody went cold at the same time. So somebody's got to step up. Yeah, but it it does seem too DMAX. See, this is where I'm confused a little bit with the wings. Is like we hear how deep they are, scoring depth. Most guys with double digit goals in the league, and when they had it humming, who was at the forefront of that? It was Larkin, DeBrinkett, and Kane. Kane was on like a 100-game point streak or whatever it was that he was rolling on. It seemed to me, now obviously, when Larkin got hurt, you can draw it back to that. But then once that well, that, that doesn't have, I know it does, but it doesn't have an impact on the rest of the lines in that your, uh, your JT Confer and those guys, you're still your line. You still have to produce. That just seemed like it dried up completely. 
Oh, it absolutely did. What and is it, I, seven in the last six games? Yeah, like which that's, is, that's unacceptable. You, that can't happen. No, no. Can't happen. When, when we, you know, we're, we need goal at that and we need diva, the, 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 you haven't scored. You haven't done what you've done all year long. So tonight's the perfect night to do it. DMAC, I don't like. Can I tell you something I don't like about yeah, tonight? Absolutely. How are the wings only minus 150? Mm-mm. Did, that's, I don't like it. Because they've lost six in a row and they don't have their captain. Yeah, I mean, that's the, like it should be I higher. I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, don't like, I don't like it either because <laughs> all the track record is is they haven't proven that they can get out of this tailspin. So that's what they're, the league's banking on. That, that's low to me. I'd bet it. But that's just because it's as dire a situation at this point of the season as it is. This is as big of a must win, like you said. Arizona's 10-24 and 24 on the road. Damn. And it's damn near a pickup. So there's something that happened in that last game that whatever Vegas is that thinks that Arizona matches up against well against. Well, the, to, and to they're not you, giving Detroit any credit. So fucking look at the odds and get slapped in the face, kicked in the nuts, whatever it is you need to be disrespected to get out there and show some emotion and play like you have for most of the year, not up until the last couple of weeks. That's bottom line. Just to give some context, the Wings were minus 140 in Arizona. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? like Right, where everybody expected them to win that game. The league expected them to win that game. Everything like, even I guess. Well, that's my point. Like, everyone everyone in this chat thinks the Red Wings are going to win tonight. Everybody in this room thinks the Red Wings are going to win They have tonight. to win. They have to. They have to yeah. win, right. Therefore, everyone thinks they're going to win. Why are they minus 150? I, I expected that to be pushing two to one. So no one's betting it. Like I said, yeah, yeah they lost all, they've lost six Everybody's in a row. Everybody's just saying, wait to see. Not yeah. get the respect. There's no money on them right now. Do I, I think I might have to do it. Is the get right? I may have to. Oh, stop it, Neil. I, just, I hate doing it. I hate doing it this way because it, it makes the units a half. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, just to all right, hear me out here. Just well, give me a I would second. only, listen, Neil, I would only do it if you think that you can impa- impact the final score. If you laying the get right is your way of being all in to say hey boys here i'm all in. i'm even putting my record on the line because because this is as dire as it is no, here's why I'm, here's it. why i'm contemplating or doing it. or i wouldn't do it here's why i'm contemplating doing it because in my mind that line is a minus 192 to one mm-hmm. that's what that line should be that's what it should be yeah why is it why is it only minus 150 well, is that the money line or is it over under that, that's that's the that's money the money line, line. that's okay. the money line so, by, by my own rationale, there's value in that line. Yeah. Are you willing to risk your record, though? That's the question. No, here's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> here's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about swinging it to the puck line and getting them plus 150. Mm. Minus one and a half? Yes. I like that. There's an opportunity that's presenting itself in my mind where the line yeah. should be and it's not. Mm-hmm. So how do I maximize taking advantage of that? Right. If, if you feel that they're really a minus 190 on the money Which line, that is a plus 150, one and minus one yep. and a half. Four two empty netter. There you go. Who farted? If you have to contemplate it, it doesn't make it a like, get yeah, right. right. Yeah. No, but who farted? But the line. But again, Neil's telling you that he doesn't choose the bets. The bets yeah. choose him. And I'm the talking plus through money, this. I'm not talking like, should I not do it? I'm telling you, I, I perceive this game to be the Wings nearly a 2-1 to one favorite. That's how I perceive it. So there's value. How can I maximize the value? Flip it around. Flip it around. Mm-hmm. And take the Wings on the goal line. Minus the half. Plus 150. The get right sits right now at 55-22. and 22. Last time out, we cashed the Jalen Duran, uh, DNC, ENT, yep. uh, Neil Rule. Collab. Handshake That's special, the collab. The collab. Percent, right. Yes, uh, we are fifty-five and twenty-two. Everybody, we're going in a unit to win one and a half. All right, we're fifty-five and twenty-two. So we're either going to be fifty-six and a half or twenty-two, or we're going to be fifty-five yeah. and twenty-three. Put it we on ride. wax. Put it on wax. We ride. You're above, Take the winnings. You're, and, you're above seventy percent. 
And you can take the winnings and go to Dispo. I love it. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> Visit Dispo Dispensary today because March Madness is officially here, and Dispo is giving away $1,000, the best bracket at each location. So whether it's Battle Creek, Romeo, Whitmore Lake, Hazel Park, Bay City, North and South, or Ann Arbor, go get your blank brackets now, fill them out, return them by St. Patty's Day on March 17th to secure your entry and your chance to win $1,000. Dispo Dispensary, DispoShops.com. Your local cannabis plug. Buying your first film at Chevrolet is much more than buying the car that will get you from point A to point B. It's a place for first memories. Some big, some small. As she grows, you're not just buying her a Chevy. You're buying into a Feldman family. With more than 700,000 vehicles sold, from generation to generation, Feldman just keeps rolling. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit. But we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Woodward Sports. Every year, after a cold and dreary winter, Metro Detroiters come together for two things. Tigers baseball and the best damned party in the world. A new season of Tigers baseball is here, and we're bringing in the new season as only Woodward Sports knows how. Broadcasting live from the biggest party, it's the Grand Slam Festival at the Detroit Opera House. Come party with 4,000 Detroit sports fans, starting with Wake Up Woodward and rolling into Big D Energy. This is a party you don't want to miss with Detroit's best DJs, food trucks, and of course, shots. Get your tickets now at GrandSlamFest.com. 21 plus. See you April 5th at the Grand Slam Fest. How'd you like to win $50,000? That's right. It's a Woodward Sports 50K Bracket Buster Challenge brought to you by Glorious Cannabis. Lady Jane's haircuts for men and Soroki's crispy chicken and pizza. Register for your chance to win at any Lady Jane's or Soroki's location. Or you can just scan the QR code that's right next to me here on the screen. Register today at WoodwardSportsBracket.com. That's WoodwardSportsBracket.com. And you can be $50,000 dollars richer brought to you by Sorokis, lady janes and glorious cannabis all right coming down the stretch here big d energy neil rule darren mccarty spencer raxter kg d mac you're out tomorrow correct yes sir all right um sam flannel will be in some what? nickel package action spend mo yeah i'm down sounds good to me all right then monday's feldman and tuesday's planet fitness there you go mm -hmm. yeah. I will also learn uh, my fate as to where the Oakland Golden Grizzlies will be going will. on Sunday at the yeah. selection. Fate show. of the Grizz. Yep, absolutely. Um, oh yeah, by the way, too, Detroit City FC soccer yes this sir. weekend. Make sure you make sure you tap in. It's first uh, game of the year, right? First game of the year, Colorado Springs. Provided they can dig out of the snowstorm that's going on. Up this there. is a random question. Is Nate Steinwasher still on the team? Yeah, okay. legend. Yeah, yeah. Legend. Saw a lot of him last year when I worked at Channel Seven. We were broadcasting the games. That's right. So yeah. Heard a lot of me, saw a lot of him. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> That's what it was. Shout out. Yeah, Nate's my – Nate's. I know he's a Detroit Mercy Titan, but he's he's still my guy. We we overcome that. Yeah. You know, so uh, we still do that. Um, Steve Wilds, I'm going to take the money against the wings. Okay. Which Planet Fitness on Tuesday? We're at uh, um, Redford, I believe. Yeah, uh, Inkster over yeah. by my house. Inkster. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Inkster in Plymouth, if I'm not okay. mistaken. So, yeah. Out there by the airport. What well, <laughs> about the airport? Kinda. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're thinking of like Inkster, the city. I'm, right. Inkster, Inkster Road. Road and Plymouth Road. Yeah. Is where we'll be. So out the airport way. I call yeah, right. when you're when you're east sider, oh, you call well, that out well, airport yeah. way. I, yeah. You're still, familiar with the airport. That's right? true. It's still a little ways from the airport, <laughs> but I get what you mean. Though. It's out airport mean. way. I think that's fair to say it. Um lots of concern about um me forcing the get right. It's not this I told there's a hole in the line. Mm -hmm. There's a hole in the line, D Mac. You're trying to exploit it. I'm exploiting it and I'm maximizing the capabilities on it. Listen, you don't choose it, it chooses you. Absolutely. You just proved it. So there you go. Um What do you got going on this weekend, D Mac? <sighs> Whole bunch of stuff. Horse Slam Friday. Uh where's that at? Uh Downriver. Okay. 
Um, Down Airport Way. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll be uh, checking that out. Uh, Saturday afternoon Wings game. Then Orchard Lake St. Mary's. We got the uh, UCP, the Pucksters, the uh, Several Palsy for the people of Michigan. Mm. Slug game at four. Alumni game at six. Um, XICW, St. Paddy's Day. You got any big St. Paddy's Day plans? Anybody? I'll be flying home from Fort Lauderdale. Spenny, you got yeah. big St. Paddy's Day plans? Oh, I'm going to be show. hitting downtown out on the town. Yep. Out on the D. We know how that works yeah. out. Yeah, the, Woo crew, time. the Woo crew is going to the Pistons game. Oh. It'll, they're honoring the 04, uh, 04 Pistons. Oh, so. no, no. Good. Yeah. Is Flannel going? Can we get him uh, I'm get a not sure if Can we get him a picture with uh, Ben Wallace? Please? I'm not sure that'll happen. <laughs> ah, absolutely. Ben with a. He's going to have to answer for that one day. I told him <sighs> that. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's right. Accountability, right. Kenny. Ben. We all love it when it comes true. Ben oh, lives yeah. right around Karma is so. real. Yeah. Uh, let's go Red Wing Sparty. Neil, do you have any stance on the mid-major winners playing in the first four instead of the real tourney, or are you good with the lower four seeds mid-majors playing in the first four? Um, I just Because someone earlier asked, too, about what, what do you think about the playing games. They always have two mid-majors playing each other at a minimum because they want one of them out because that eliminates the units. Um, the, real, the whole real tournament thing, like mid-majors don't like it, but at the same time, you do get a full share for winning a game. Because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the NCAA tournament's based on money, and the teams that win games, you get roughly a $300,000, it's called a unit. I don't mm. know why they just don't call it a win, but they <laughs> want to make it sound like you're not playing for money, even right. though that you are. Every team that wins gets $300,000, and that's pooled into their conference, and then when it's all over, they split it up oh. among the conference. So as a mid-major, you, you don't like it because you're not in the tournament, but you do kind of like it because you got a shot at a unit. You get a unit for going, so everybody gets a unit, and then every game you win, you get an additional unit. Oh, got it. So that's why the mid-majors always get squeezed, because they don't want to share the money. Oh. The Spendy and the Michigan States, and mm -hmm. that's why they change it to net ranking. So, And that's why they you'll hear the term quad one and quad two wins mm -hmm. all day long on Sunday. So they make the quad one wins valuable, which, as a mid-major, you can't play a quad one game once conference play starts. Mm -hmm. for the most part. Okay. Michigan State, pretty much every game they play is a quad one game. Because when you play on the road, a quad one game is determined as the top 50 net ranking teams. Unless you play them on the road, then it expands to top 75. Oh, okay. So we have a quad one win because we won at Xavier. Yeah. But Michigan State gets a quad, gets a quad one win for... Did they win at Northwestern? Mm hmm Yeah, so they get a quad one win for winning at Northwestern. But they get multiple opportunities because their whole conference play with mm -hmm. the exception of michigan <laughs> is quad one games yeah especially on the road <laughs> we only get to play quad one games where when we play them they have the contract to the officials they we play when they say we're gonna play like right. that's that's the way that it works mm -hmm. so they value it that way dmac you like that lesson no yeah, one knows that, it but that's, that's how it great, works that's a great lesson follow the money that's follow, the answer follow the money so they're not that upset there you go. Absolutely. All right. For DMAC, for KG, for Spencer Rector, thanks for tapping in. Well, see you later.